Hi everybody, it's Cindy the Jewelry Nurse and Roberta from Simply Roberta's Treasures. Say hi, Ro. Hi everybody. <laughs> I saw your it's hands. It's not here yet, but you will be. I was going to say, that was a lady. You will hi. Be say hi. <laughs> How are you today, Roberta? I am fine. I have a little bit of a headache, but I think it was, I got too hot today. It was hot out today. I was at Walmart doing some shopping, and they I swear they had the heater on. It was just sweat was pouring down my cheeks. I'm thinking, why is it so hot in here? And it gave me a headache. But I took some Tylenol, and I will be fine. Yeah, that's generally I dehydration like that when hot. you get that kind of a headache from heat. You probably, need to, you probably need to get some fluids in yourself, some water. I did. I drank a bunch of water and... Usually that food. will calm that kind of a headache when you get one of those. If you just down some water. Sorry, I broke a nail. I had to hey, file Vanessa it off. Alex. Hi, everybody. So nice to see you. Thank oh, you for coming. Oh, I'm glad you liked Look, that. Wasn't that really show. cool? That was a had to see to appreciate. Didn't Wasn't that beautiful, Vanessa? I'm glad you liked it as much as I did. I, when I saw it, I said, oh, i got to get this for Vanessa. Hi, R&R. &R. How are oh, cool. you? Nice to see you. Hi, Mona Lise. And, hey, Alex and Mona Lise. So tonight we are going to show the rest of Debbie Kendall's jewelry for her auction on Sunday. I showed some of it, but um, I have a second box of stuff I'm going to show tonight. It's sterling and costume. There's some beautiful costume in there, too. So the sterling, um, there's a lot of that. So I'll be selling a lot of that individual pieces like we normally do. And there's a few costume pieces that warrant an individual sell, but I will probably make um, a couple of bags out of the rest of it or we'll be here all night. Um, but we have some beautiful things for her auction on Sunday. And then... Um, I have some silver tonight. I don't have it. Well, I guess I have a good amount more than I started with. Thank I've you. got my a lot of my Native American stuff together for my Native auction that I'll show you. Then I have um, my normal silver haul that I buy every week. So we got, and I know Roberta has a good haul this weekend too. So I have a haul this week. We got a lot of pretties to show you guys. I'm excited. Hi, Judith and J Sandy and Marzina. How are you ladies? And I will be getting the invoicing done for the, um, just so I don't get too behind again for the pop-up last night. I'll do that invoicing when we get off tonight because otherwise I'm going to have a ton to do for Saturday and I do not want to get behind again. <laughs> It took me from Christmas to I recently to get caught up the last are... time I got behind. All my you invoiced already? Yes, oh, yeah, I'm you right did now. last night, huh? I invoiced last night. Everybody's I done. I just have to pack up for tomorrow. Uh, it still took me like 45 minutes to Where's an he? hour last night when we got off to finally get in bed to finish up all those few-minute things I needed to do. But, Marzina um, wants to know if you've seen her email. No, I did not, but let me check. Hey, Raven. Let me check. Miss Raven. Have to repair a fingernail real quick. Oh, good, Must Judith. I'm glad that fits. Okay. Judy. So, she likes to be called Judy. I'm Michelle sorry, Judy. I'm sorry. I got sorry. her, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> I got her, Judy. I just look for times I could just pounce on her. <laughs> okay. Um, who is Al Belinda? This must be Hi, Judy. Oh, Hi, Judy. Alex. Okay, Alex. I'll Alex, get that to yes. you as soon as we finish. I was just trying to figure out who this email was from. I do not see one from, oh, wait a minute. There it is. Uh, 
Okay, that will be absolutely fine. You don't know how happy that would make her, and she would love that, and that's that's perfect. You can do that. I mean, it's not necessary, but you can do that. I would love that. That is such a generous thing. You guys just never stop amazing me. Um, hi, Raven. Nice to see you. We are so far. Hopefully it stays a wonderful evening. I hope everybody is um, having a good day, too. Um, we are going to show a lot of stuff. I'm going to let Roberta go first because um, I've got a ton. So I'll let Roberta go first, and then I'll show Debbie's first hi, stuff. Andy. Our stuff first. No, do Debbie's, so do Debbie's now. Let's do Debbie's okay. first. Let's, All right. Well, yeah, we'll let's do get that. everybody's let's eyes. People get tired or whatever, they'll see Debbie's things first. Yeah, That's probably a good idea. Because hers is this Hi, weekend. MPK. So let me switch cameras and I will get started. I did show some of it a few um, weeks ago. So there is a video um, oh. with some of her things out there. Um, and then I got exactly. another even bigger box. So you will not believe this. This is testing. This is a big old citrine. Ah, Vanessa wants you to check. Well, cool. that's Go even bigger. Messenger, and the please. funny thing is, I happen to have this one on. It's even bigger than the ones in my bracelet. Wow. Yeah, totally testing the citrine. Isn't that awesome? I'm the impressed you're one. wearing your bracelet, my dear. It's a beautiful, beautiful stone. I just want to so tell Auntie Kay that. Miss Vanessa gave me this, and that's why it's on my table. It well, is a music when I, box. When I used your the scale that that you that I got from you, um, this is mm -hmm. I I went to the carrot setting, and I don't know if this is correct, but it's weighing as forty three carats. Now, I don't know if that's correct um, or not, but that's the carrot weight on the scale that you gave me. I That's think incredible. it is because I don't know. I don't know how to well, do that. Well, when I, I did grams times it. five, it came out to 43 also. So I don't know if that's mm -hmm. correct or what, but 43 carrots. I is saw what somebody else. On. Yep. I saw somebody else do the carrots on that thing. And I said, oh, you learn something new every day. Yeah. So 43 carrots. Hey, Jen. Over 43, hey, actually. Hey, Jen. And then this is a, um, let me see if I can get a better picture. This is a, a pink um, coral. It's the um, angel skin coral. And let me see. Excuse me, That's Cindy. Vanessa bad. said oh, twice, yeah. please look at your messenger. Okay. I sure will. Oh, there. That's better on the color. That's almost perfect on the color. It's a beautiful carved um Hi, Sharon. Angel and coral so i know there's a couple of you that make jewelry so i'll have those those are um debbie's so those will be in the auction you're welcome beautiful baby. though beautiful better hurry up before what she pees her parents can you believe that that is huge <laughs> and this is a pretty good size itself um just that's making it be a great size for a, a ring really a beautiful piece of angel skin coral. It looks like a really high quality piece. So there we go. And these are um, beautiful pearls. These are actually real pearls, but they are really nice ones. Um, look how smooth they are and variously shaped. And they are 925 um, on the hooks. Uh, let me look at Vanessa's thing real quick, guys. Forgive me for a second. Vanessa never asked me to look during an auction, so I'm guessing it is important. So let me look. Hi, hey, Ann. Yeah. Uh, you can't hear Cindy? Oh, beautiful. I'm glad. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, and it so happy so to hear that, Sharon. Here, Vanessa. It looks cool. Looks very nice there. I have another one I think you're really going to like, too, that I got from Elizabeth, a big old pearl that I got from Elizabeth that will probably be up for auction this weekend, but um, I'll show that to you later. 
All right, so that is, I had to show those. They were right on top of the bag. And here's some costume earrings. These will probably be part of a lot. They are cute. These have a um, little butterfly theme going on here. Hey, Carla. These are kind of cute. Oh, they are. Butterflies and enamel. You know, she loves her vermeil. She does. These are not All sterling, right, so, these are um, costume, but these will go into a bag or jar. Another pair of um, articulating enamel earrings. These are cute. What were you going to say, Ro? Sure. Anne's saying she can't hear, but everybody else can hear. So I don't know if it's something on her okay. end. Sorry. Anne said, I cannot hear you. Something is off. Oh, good, Marenza. You should be getting your jewelry from me, too. Oh, no, you did say you got jewelry. Never mind. Um, that I think mine went out on Monday or Tuesday. I only have one bag, I think, that did not get mailed until later in the week. And that was because I had the wrong email, but everything else went out on Tuesday. But those are cute, aren't they? Oh, look. Those are summery, aren't they? Nice and summery. Yeah. And go butterflies. out and come back in, hon. It seems like yeah, you're the only one that's having the problem. Are you saying Pam? Anne. Oh, Anne. Baird, am I saying that right? This is costume, but it is so cute. I wonder if it's designed. Isn't that cute? It is. So um, I will probably make a lot. This is signed. It has. thought it would be. It is really nice quality. And it looks like it's probably a size 8. And it looks like it has an E and a G in it. Which I don't know who that maker is. If anybody recognizes that brand, let me know. I'll probably do a lot of signed costume, too, out of some of this. After I go through it all tonight, I will get it all bagged and sorted out. But most of what I'm showing here in the beginning's costume. I'll get to the sterling here pretty quickly. Some really cute costume pieces, though. And they are in very good condition. They look like they've never been worn, most of this. Another little costume ring. Hi, Cindy. Here is a bracelet with a beautiful pearl on it. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like brass, maybe. Oh, no, it's got some rust. So this will be mainly for the pearl. It's a little bit of rust there. I don't know if I can clean that or not. For a second, I thought it was brass, but I don't think brass rust. This is cute. Costume ring. I like them like that. Yeah, a little cigar band style. Let me see if there's any signatures in this. Nope, I don't see one. This looks like a Avon piece, but let me look at it and see. Hey, Jude. It's attached to the ring. I don't know how that ended up on there when the <laughs> when it was fastened. That's weird. Okay, come on, Cindy. There we go. What does that say? NRT. This does look like an Avon piece, but I don't see an Avon tag on it. It's cute, though. Nice chain. Looks like maybe a stainless steel chain, but it's a nice <laughs> chain. And another little costume ring. And our that does look like an Avon. Yeah, it does. And some of that Avon stuff has NRT. I don't know if it's just not the original chain. No, actually, it looks like that's part of it. So I don't know if it just that's lost an older it one. or what. But it does look like an Avon piece, doesn't it? 
trying to separate all of these signed pieces a, as I go. I had that piece. Now, oh, did you? Okay. I could still have it up there in that Avon box. I don't it's know. It's just a piece I think I've seen before with Avon. This is kind of a cool uh -huh. costume. Ring. A little bit of wear there, though, I see. I have one of these right now in sterling. Little puzzle-type rings. It's a cute bracelet. Looks like somebody made that. A lot of this stuff I said, like I said, will go in a jar. That's pretty. That's a good idea, a jar. Yeah, so I'm showing you so you will see, get to see now um, what kind of stuff will be in the jar. I won't put anything in that is has any wear or is not 100% wearable, will not go into the jar. Oh, here's a cameo ring. That almost looks like a real cameo. Let me look at it with my loop. Nope, I think it's resin. They did a good job on that, though. Let me see. Cute, though. If it's signed. It is signed. Um, it's 18 karat gold electroplate and it does have a maker's mark that I've seen before. I just have no idea who it is. It's a V. Um, it's a diamond shape with a V down through the middle. I don't know if I can show this or not. Like a baseball diamond kind of shape and then it has a V. There we go. A V in it. I've seen that Hi, before. Jeannie. I just don't know who uh, it is. Cindy asked you uh Cindy, Jeannie's asking you a question. She said, Cindy, could you show me the silver chain you just sent to your right? It looks just like my mama. Oh, this one? The Avon? I think this might be an Avon piece. I'm not sure. a pretty piece but i think it's probably avon in this i i do believe it is because yeah i'm not positive but it will probably go in the jar of signed items here's another one with a couple of crystals and a real pearl don't know if yeah that has a great chain denise i was thinking the same thing this might actually be Sterling, um, an artisan made sterling piece. I'll have to test that, but it does have a pretty pearl and a couple of nice crystals. I'll test it to see if it's sterling. Looks artisan made pretty though. Thing. Yep. Another costume bracelet. This one's got a small little, this one's marked 925 on the spring ring there. And I suspect that these beads right here are silver. They're just very tarnished. I'll test them. But I think this may be onyx and these beads might be silver. Very tarnished. I'll test it though. These are colors, so I think they're onyx. So that will go with the silver. Okay, here's a little costume bracelet. I'm not going to open it. It doesn't look to be signed. That one's not in the best of condition. It does have some wear. So into a craft I box. Avon, I wonder if Avon was something before it was Avon. I you don't know. know. Somebody That's bought it out. Question. That's a good question. I do not know. Here's a Figueroa chain, but it looks to be costume also. Might be stainless, actually. Not signed anywhere. Let me box this up and set it aside. 
And I don't know if I show. I did show that. Okay. What have we got in here? Oh, showed all of that. So let me clear the deck so I can start with some new. Clear the deck. We have 30 in chat already. Thank you so much. All everybody. right. Thank you guys for coming. Here is a coach wallet that came with the stuff. I don't know if this is legit coach. It looks like leather, so it probably is. I know they make this patchwork style. It does look like a leather tab. Yeah, it does look like leather, so I will make sure it's leather and a legit coach before we put it in. I do have this style of coach myself that I have been using forever. I've had one that I that I use daily for like five years now, and it has held up beautifully. That's cool, the zipper Cindy, thanks. is still perfect. All right, more boxes. Let's see what's in the boxes. I haven't even looked through all of this. Okay, that's Looks like Ann Klein. Well, it's an Ann Klein box. Yeah, I think this might actually be. Trafari, this is a crown Trafari. It's a nice crown Trafari. It looks brand new. It doesn't have any wear. It's in great shape. Nice piece. And all my, I was going to say, in all my travels, I've never found a, a bracelet like that with Trafari. This looks like a child's bracelet. Don't know. This is a, they think it's costume, does not appear to be sterling, but cute little bracelet will probably also go in the jar. It's like a very small, so either someone with a super oh, no. small wrist Thanks, or gals. someone who um, has a granddaughter or a daughter. Oh, this is pretty. This has got a J. Cruz style clasp, but it's thinner than J. Cruz. But it is a nicely done costume piece. I don't see a signature on it anywhere, but it is pretty. Yeah, I don't see any. Sure, it won't, Jeannie. <laughs> it's already That's happened to cool. me. I like that. That is a really cool bracelet. I love that. It's pretty. Call them around the around the corner hands. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, next box. Oh, this is pretty. We're mere puppies back then. That is very pretty crystals. Very pretty. Very sparkly, and it has a matching necklace. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. It's a choker style. It is very pretty. Very pretty. I have an extender, but it's a choker style, and it has a matching bracelet. That is so sparkly. If you could see the, how pretty this is in person. Hi, Bright, red, very sparkly. If I can break it's it up, it's showing up pretty good on my laptop. Very pretty. And the color is not bad at all. Beautifully done, though. Oh, these beads are cool. They're flat on one side and faceted on the other. That's kind of cool. Beautiful. It's got a little heart tag, but there is no. Oh, wait a minute. There is a signature on it. Candies. Okay. No, Carol Lee. Look like it said candies. It says Carol Lee. So that's a Carol Lee piece. So another signed Ooh. piece. So beautiful signed Carol Lee. And I will probably sell oh, some of these are running. Ted Baker. Any idea? This actually looks like a decent watch. 
a little bit of wear on the band but not too bad and it is running this is a leather band this looks like a nice watch not real familiar with this brand at least i think it's leather at least the leather backing genuine what leather yeah it says genuine leather Anybody familiar with that brand, Ted Baker? That's a pretty watch. I'm going to pull the stem out so it doesn't continue to run. I don't know how many of these were running when I got them because I didn't pull all these out. Oh, that one does not want to come out. I have to get tweezers to pull that out. Something. I'll do it later. Let's see what else we have. Oh, here's another digital watch that's running. This one has a couple of tags on it. What does it say? Hi, Jay Tarter. Let's see what brand it is. Well, still got the new thing on the back, too. Yep, this is Timex Sports Watch. All right, so we got a Timex Sports Watch that's Polly. running. Polly says UK mm -hmm. designer. Maybe that first one you had. What'd you say? UK designer. Okay, cool. Some cute little watches here. There's another quartz watch. This one does not have a brand. <laughs> And it, but it does have a leather band. It says genuine leather again. That one looks like it's not really been worn. The band doesn't look like it's crimped anywhere. So cute little watch. Can't tell what that one says either. I think this is also another fashion watch. 400 something. Yeah, I don't see a brand on this one either, so a fashion watch. But it also looks like the band doesn't look like it's had much wear. It still has the plastic on the back, too. Simulated leather. That one says simulated leather. Ooh, this is pretty. It's got a, looks like almost abalone face. Or mother of pearl. This is a citizen's. Yeah, it's a um, digital. So this is a nice watch, too. It just needs a battery. Dang it, I just broke another nail since we started. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep, I did. Polly said Nostrums carries Ted Baker. The, do they? Nostrums. Okay. Jeannie, one other person was having trouble hearing. You, maybe you need to go out and come back in. Ann was having trouble. This. Yeah, this is a Citizen's hey, watch. This is a decent watch. And it looks like it's got a like abalone that. shell face on it. Pretty. Yeah, I like that one. A little bit of scratches on the lens, but it's a pretty watch. Yes, time for you to go get your. Oh my gosh! Thingy's okay. done. Guess what this is, guys? What? Lucienne Picard. And the dials really? are working. Yeah, that dial is working there. I already broke my nails messing with these watches, too. Oh, my God. I broke three nails messing with these watches. <laughs> oh, gosh. Now yeah, I really you. have to go in the morning. This is not a cheap watch here. Wow. This is a really nice watch. So I will have to take this. And get a battery in it before Sunday or figure out because one of them is running so I guess it doesn't need a battery I just need to figure out if the rest of the how to make them all work 
Nice, nice, nice watch, though. Very nice. That is not a cheap one. Here's another Timex. This one needs a battery. I'm going to stop trying to pop these out. I'm breaking every single nail. <laughs> Pathetic. I think she went a little too thin on my nails this time because they are popping off left and right. That's cute, though. Look at that band. Isn't that a cute Timex? Mm -hmm. Reminds me she of a suit I used to have. Do work too. This one's cool. This is just a fashion watch, but it looks like almost like a rubber dial there. A little bit of wear on that one. Pink, hard to keep clean. But that's a cute Pretty one cool. though. Cute. Yeah, I like the rubber look to it. <laughs> so, a couple of watches Amazing. in there. Andy that are decent watches ladies nice what is in here oh my goodness i think that's the bag of sterling let me get through some of this costume and then i'll go through the sterling I might have shown this in the last one, but I thought it was cool enough to show again. This is probably a piece that I will sell separately. I don't see a makers on it anywhere, but it is a absolutely. Wait a minute. Oh, yes, I do. It's a Chico's. This is just a really cool bracelet. Isn't this awesome? I like that. It's a very well-made Chico's piece, too. I like that one. Okay, what do we got here? They scared the kitties, though. Yes, let's see. Bad roofers. Okay, that says 925. That looks familiar. I've had a couple of these, and I never figured out where they came from, but there's another one. This is not signed, but it's in very good. Wait a minute. It does have something on the... Oh, nope, I take that back. In very good condition, though. Faux pearls, but pretty. Mm-hmm. The stray silver in there. These look like sterling. Yep. Hoop earrings, 22 millimeter. These are sterling. Hoops. Look to be about an inch. Oh, this is pretty. This is a signed piece also. It is Napier. It's a pretty Napier. Any Napier collectors out there? This is a really pretty piece. There's a, oops. This looks like some sterling in here, too. I thought I had separated it all, but I guess I didn't go through that whole bunch of stuff yet. What do we got here? Cindy okay, Lovins or Jewelry Nurse, Sharon? This is Roman. And Roman stuff always looks so legit. I'll show you here. <laughs> chain that the spring ring on that chain is not working, but um, look how nice this pendant is. Doesn't it look like it's a real? It's pretty. Like it would be gold or sterling Roman stuff. They are so good at making it look real. The brand Roman. If you've ever had it or seen it, they're very realistic. And they 
don't believe it is actual sterling, but because I keep breaking my nails, but it is a um, pendant that has an opening veil, so you can put it with pearls a or double beads blessing. Or Very a double pretty. blessing, Sharon. That is very pretty. Yeah, there's a tiger's eye ring there. I'm trying not to make noise, but I've got to take this makeup off. It is on a chain. Okay, i got to take my glasses off, so... <laughs> she probably has one fine. coming, Cindy. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Sharon probably has a, a package from me coming. She got you and the other Cindy's package today. And Cindy said, now okay. you need a row. You got two Cindy's and you need a row. <laughs> All right. This is a uh, Verme and the rubies are real rubies. Those are natural rubies in there. Oh, I'm such a tomboy. I want all the makeup off right now. And it is actually on a Verme chain. So more sterling. What do we got here? Chat for a minute, folks. Looks like abalone. It's got color in it. But I believe it to be a costume piece. Oh no, the chain says 925, so I guess the chain is verme. I can't tell on the pendant though. Looks like, oh yeah, there's a mark on the pendant. Yep, it's an, it says AV925, so another verme piece. That does not <laughs> surprise me. From Miss there's a lot of... <laughs> Yeah, a lot of Verme pieces in this box here. Oh my God, my nails are a total mess. Okay, this is Izzy's Jeweler, Jewels. Izzy's Jewels is what this is signed. Tomorrow's Saturday. You should run out and get them done. Yes, I'm going to have to. I just broke like half of them since I started this video. That's crazy. <clears throat> That's nice crystals on that one. Another signed piece. I had one of these. Oh, Rings. That felt good. All done. Recently, yeah, actually. Let me catch up with the trap. Here, this is a sterling ring. This one is not Verme. That's a cute one. If you're just joining us, everything I'm showing now is for Debbie's auction on Sunday. Cute brooch. Mm -hmm. This is Debbie's stuff. <clears throat> oh, that's a cute and brooch. I like that. Other signed pieces, some kind. West Germany. Oh, okay. Little West German. Oh, Kitty wants out. That is adorable. I have a, another brooch that's blue like that. Another ring. Looks to be signed. This is a Sarah Coventry ring. There's so far, a lot of signed jewelry in here. And there's quite a bit of silver in this lot, too. I know that for sure. More costume earrings. These are cute, though. I could figure that out. Debbie, Debbie definitely likes her gold tone stuff. Absolutely. So more costume earrings. <coughs> what do we got here? Studs. Earrings. Hey, Autumn. Thank you for coming. We're showing what we're going to be selling for, for Debbie Kindle on Sunday. Plus, we've got some lots we're going to show. We have an auction for Debbie. These are cute. 
So there is a pair in with these blue crystals and then a pair with white crystals. These hooks actually look like sterling on these, but the earrings are not. These got giant ones on here. These big giant kidney hooks. Now these don't look sterling, but those do. So two more pairs of earrings and lots of studs here. Let's see if there's any mates. All this Hi, kind Simon. of stuff will go into a jewelry jar. Here's a set here. Cinnamon says, holy smacker, Cindy, jewelry nurse. That LP, I can't pronounce that name. List that watch if you can. The Lucien Picard? Mm-hmm. I know it's uh, an expensive watch. That's why I test of, the stones on the face on the dial. That's why I kind of went, what? <laughs> 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 when I read the brand, I know that's an expensive one. Okay, this is a kid. Guess we set. know which one to bid on. <laughs> Here's to be costume. I'll do a little research on that one because um, I know it's an expensive watch. But here's a cute set. That is cute. Cindy, I get to uh, go downstairs and check something. I'll be right back. All righty. You do that. Okay. Put all that in the box. I'm making a pile of stuff here as we go, so I know what's signed and what isn't. Oh, wait a minute. Wrong box. So I can do a jar of all signed items for y'all. Okay, more silver. I don't even know what to do with all this. There is so much. All right, let me make a pile right there of silver. <laughs> okay, show me already. And this I showed once already, but I'm going to show it again because it was such a fabulous piece and there was some interest in it. So I wanted to show it to you guys again. This is a, I can't remember what brand. It is signed piece. It's signed Cabe, C-A-B-I. I don't know that brand, but isn't this gorgeous? It's a brooch and a bracelet. So I love this piece. So you can wear it either way as a brooch or as a bracelet. Really cute, cute thing. These earrings, I believe, are sterling hooks. I'll make sure I'm not 100% positive, but these beads are either glass or um, onyx. I'm not sure on those till I test them. More watches. That's sterling. Here's a bracelet and necklace set that are sterling and not verme. That's cute, isn't it? That's a cute set. I like that. Looks like it might have a Italy signature on it. Let's look. Nope, it's got a patent pending and P-R-E. Italy. Yep, it is Italy. Gorgeous, though. This is really pretty. Another ring. Oh, this is a nice one, too. This is a Mexico sterling. Beautiful red jasper. 
it's a nice one nice big one size eight just shy of an eight and another watch uh, okay this is a um what you call it oh This is a nice watch, too. This is a heavy one. Um, Love Kills Slowly, and I'm trying to think of who this is. Ed Hardy, that's the word. <laughs> it wasn't coming to my brain. It's a nice Ed Hardy watch. This is not over the top, but they're not cheap either. So that's a nice watch. And she did say these watches all work. But nice, Ed Hardy, from the Love Kills Slowly collection. Looks like we got some pearl earrings here. But you know what? These might be the diamond studs. These are in a an aura box. So these may be the Hanara pearls. These are really nice pearls, so they could be. I'll check them and see if they're signed anywhere later. Those are decent quality on those pearls. These might be the diamond studs she was talking about. Let me check the... She did say there was a pair of diamond studs in here. Yeah, these are marked 14K INV. So these, let me check with my tester. Nope, these are not diamonds. These are CZs, but they are 14K. So a little pair of 14 carat CZs. Um, compact. This is an vintage Avon compact. Still has a little bit of powder in it, but it is a pretty Avon piece. I've seen this one before. Somebody had this one recently. I don't remember who, but somebody had this one. Needs a little bit of cleaning up, but it is pretty piece. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. Oh, badness. <laughs> okay, Sharon's looked at Jasper yeah, Ring. Ever. Thanks, Cindy, because I was going to test that to see. I thought it maybe Bakelite was what it looked like to me. So um, I will test it for Amber. Kristen, it's Sunday. You could be right. On. Where is my light? If I can find my light, I think it's in another drawer. I moved drawers the other day. Yep. Let's, I'm going to go in the hallway real quick where it's dark and check this to see if it's amber, guys. Cindy, look this up. And yes. it says that it is carved amber. So let's go. Can y'all tell I'm eating a Fig Newton? I'm getting a little it's beautiful. Um, glow from it, but I need to change my battery in my thing. It's kind of weak. So I'll put a new battery in that and test it again. I, I thought it might be actual Bakelite, but 
I don't know. I am not really. I don't really think it's amber, though. Looking at the back of it. But I'll test it again. Looks more like daylight. I love that. <laughs> All right, more watches. Definitely going to have to make a lot of some of these watches. This one's. That second hand is moving slowly. This one's getting ready to run down, I can see. Looks like Maurice. Here's one of these Moonbirds the kind of bangles. Polka dotted watch. These all look almost new. A lot of these watches look like they've barely been worn. This one doesn't have a brand on it that I can see. A fashion watch, but a cute polka dotted watch. And it's a it's a pants store up here, Caroline. Maurice the pants man. <laughs> This is not signed either. This is a fashion watch too. It doesn't have the weight of a really there good watch. Yep. So more watches. I'll definitely do a watch lot for sure. couple of really nice ones, though. Oh, this is a nice one. That is really That's cute. Pretty. Those are all rhinestones. That's pretty. What brand is this? Fancy schmancy. Shahandra. And this one's running. Yeah, this is fancy. I'm going to have to look this one up, too. This one is Shahandra. And this looks like it could be a very good watch, too. Stingray. The band is Stingray. And I will test these to see if they're crystals or something else. Let me check. That really is cute. If I can get in there without, it's so hard to see them. They're black. I'm going to have to use the loop to hit it with the. Actually, those are going to. Well, darn it, I can't look at the thing and through the loop and keep <laughs> I'm going to have to look at that later. But if I look this up, it'll probably tell me what those are. But the band is Stingray, and it's a heavy watch. So I definitely think that You're not am ambidextrous? <laughs> I don't think, no, <laughs> not at all. I don't think that's a cheap <laughs> watch, though. That looks like a really nice watch. Nice. No, Sharon, I did too. We both licked that watch. Couple of really good watches in this lot for sure. Here's a, a acrylic bangle. It's fancy. Okay. That one's pretty. Oh my! Much. Kind of a happy little watch. Yeah, yeah. This one. Oops, sorry. And it's Where are St. Patty's Hammer? Yeah, this one does not have a name brand. I think it's just a pretty fashion watch. I don't see. It says, oh, there do you have it your is. green on today and it's St. Patty's Day? You say, yep, and show them you This watch. is in like new condition, so I'm guessing all this needs is a battery. It is in like brand new condition. Doesn't look like it's hardly been worn at all. 
There are no scratches on it. The lens doesn't have any scratches. It looks brand new. Very pretty. In that bag. Oh. More bags of goodies. I like bags of goodies. These are cute. Those look like yes, they are. Sterling. Cindy and I are having ours. We're going to show our lots after we show uh, Debbie's, just in case yeah, people leave. We want them to be able to see what Debbie's have. Yeah, these are sterling, and I'm guessing those are crystals. Those actually look like they could be Swarovski crystals there on those. They are very sparkly. And they are faceted pretty agree, nicely. Autumn. But these are signed 925. Those are cute. I like put this those. over here with the rest of the sterling earrings. There's two of these, whatever these are. These are like threader type earrings, which I like with a crystal also. And these are also 925. They are signed 925 on the on here, and there's two pairs of those actually, threaders. Beautiful crystals on these. I really think these are Swarovski. They're very heavily faceted, which is uh, one way to spot a Swarovski crystal. They have lots of facets. Mm -hmm. Buy me some, Sharon. So two pairs of those threaders with beautiful oh, crystals. I would even wear those. Or I could test them. I guess they could be CZs. These also look like little sterling with crystals. Let's see if these are signed. I see no, yeah. they, they do not see any signature on these, so I'll have to test these, but these are pretty. These are really cute. Very feminine little earring. Very cute. The back Most of it's like, for me, Cynthia. Not all of it. There is a good amount of sterling, too, just regular sterling, but there is a lot of vermeil. That could be dangerous, <laughs> Marzina. Here's just some little tiny well, clip-ons. More likely not to sit on your hands. <laughs> little clip-on, except for that's got a little bit of... You see if that's vertigree. Yep, that's vertigree. I'm going to put those aside. Take them out of the rest of the jewelry. Put them in quarantine. Yep, going in quarantine. They look cute. They are cute, though. Little tiny clip-ons. There's another pair of clip-ons that are not sterling, just costume. And those will be going in the lot of stuff. They are in good condition, though. Another <laughs> pair of right. All this stuff is in really good condition. These I need to test because I'm not sure on those, but I think those are costume. What do we got here? Pretty. This is marked. Put the CH on, on it. We don't know what brand that is. The cute costume piece. That's a cute one. I like the chain. Look at this chain. Chain almost looks like it could be sterling. Let me check the clasp. I don't. I does, don't know if they were gold, Caroline. It does not match the clasp, so I'll have to test that. Looks like it, somebody put That's a new true. spring ring. I've been known cute. to use What's my that? nose. So that will go in the jar. <laughs> All right. 
I have a tangle, you know, it wouldn't be me if I didn't have a tangle. I see a cute little That's bird cute. here. A little bird brooch that is attached to a chain. Let's see what's at the other end of the chain. Oh, how cute. She's probably going right. to test it. That's cute. What is it, a little scatter pin type thing? Yeah, oh. <laughs> it, they're chained together, but I'm trying to figure out what this is, this part of it. It's a little... It looks like a pump. Like what like they a sit on. It's like a pump. Yeah, yeah, like a whale or something. Is water coming out of it. That's cute. That's a cute pen. That is cute. Looks older. It does. This looks like sterling. Just needs a cleanup. And this is not vermeil. This is regular silver. Yep, it is silver. Needs a cleanup, but that is a sterling bracelet. Sharon, that makes me happy. I might. I have uh, a lot of fun. Lot up some of this silver to like do a um, just keep adding as the bidding goes. That is not look like. I don't think that's sterling. I think that's costume, but that goes in the test file. Cindy said your CH mark is Carolyn Herrera. Carolyn Herrera. Let me write that down. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll put it in my book so I can know what it is tomorrow. There's Sunday. Of course, I pick up the pen that doesn't work every time. Hey, Darcy. Carolyn Herrera. Thank you. All right. So it looks like we've got some chains here that are possibly vermeil. Oh, this one. We have 35 in shadow. Oh, how cute. Thank you, everybody. This is... This is Almost an exact match to the, if I could get it loose, it's attached to something oh. else have to get it loose it later. Is. This is almost an exact match to those, not exactly, but very close to those pineapple earring studs I sold yesterday. Mm -hmm. And let's see if this is sterling. It looks like it is. Yes, it is. And it actually has a maker's mark on it. And in a box. Which I've seen that mark before. That's so tiny, though. It probably won't. See a cute little necklace. The pineapple actually is attached to the chain. But the pineapple was cute, cute though. Somehow it is attached to this other silver chain. So that's going to be a chore getting those apart, but I will. That's cute. So that that looks cute fine. on the neck. There's another necklace with a heart. I don't know if this is. Okay, the locket looks like costume, but it looks like a sterling chain. Tis a sterling chain. Looks to be at least 20, maybe 22 inch for May ball chain. Mm -hmm. Either that or it's just very tarnished. Sometimes it's hard to tell when they're that 
light, whether it is um, yellow tarnish on the sterling. But the locket is not sterling, but the chain is. So let me put that aside, too. I've never tried that, Sharon. Pineapple on my pizza. Okay, this is inner. Oh, okay, it's magnetic. That's interesting. That's pretty. That looks like it could be sterling also. So that is going in the test file because I really can't tell. Interesting though, it's a pretty bracelet. Put that in the test file. I wish we lived closer. I could do your nails. This is either glass or onyx. I'll hit it with the machine here in a second to see if it's, it's cold. Let's see if it's glass or onyx. Pretty. Uh, I believe it's glass. It's cold though. It tried to go to jade, but it went back down to glass. But pretty glass necklace though. This is cold too. This is one you can wear the fastener on the side. Don't see any signatures, but it is a pretty piece. Looks older. Yeah, it does. It looks like a vintage piece that will go into the jar also. Nice piece. I definitely won't have time to sell every piece individual like no way is that going to happen or even any of the um, signed pieces individual so the, the jars will have some signed pieces in it and some nine west balls brand new I think the other set of balls in that box somewhere, too, that came off that card. I might have shown this last time. I don't remember. But this is a really cute bracelet. Kind of vintage looking. Still has its chain. I don't know if it's slender. Like a little bit. Yeah, it does look like it's not, but it does look like something Goldette would do, doesn't it? So cute bracelet. Yeah, again. Yeah. That will also go in the jar. My Learjet's still in the shop, Marzina. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I like that, Sharon. I don't know how long it's going to be in the shop. Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Trafari. Put a name on it. It's a crown mm -hmm. trafari. That is a really pretty one. Beautiful. Ooh, Stephen's going to like that. I'm going to have to put these crown trafaris in there for him. You might have snooped it a couple of pieces, Caroline. That's the second crown trafari there that I found. Stephen might be interested in those. Yeah, I'm going to mm -hmm. put those in for Stephen for sure as individual or maybe a lot those this looks like it could be for me could be pretty is what it is I believe I that it is that's cute May. i don't see a signature on it or any oh wait a minute there it is i'm gonna say i don't see a 925 but i guess what i just found a 925 it's actually <laughs> Um, Hi, Susan. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put it I up. I think this is grass. 14K over sterling, actually. Because it's got so, yeah. tarnished so on it like Vermeer has. Can't read it though. It does say something. I can't read it. It does say that it is gold filled. But I think it's gold filled over sterling. I'm gonna have to check it. We're it's got that Debbie colorful Hendel's tarnish that, that sterling gets that she sent it, to. Oh, sorry, hon. I was going to say it has that colorful mm -hmm. tarnish on it that sterling gets when it's gold plated. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, though. That's a pretty brooch. Not a real heavy duty. It's fairly thin, but it's a very pretty piece. You're welcome, Susan. Thank you, honey. Mm, let's see. What that is, is a pretty little brooch. I like that. It is a little bar brooch. You know, I like bar brooches. Here's another. A B brooch. Little bar brooch. A B crystals. So those are pretty. <laughs> Take me a while to we sort. We love auto correct, Cindy. Huh? I was talking to the other Cindy. She likes auto correct as much as we do. <laughs> Here is Elephant. Never works when it's supposed to. No. Little elephant and probably magnesite bracelet. I will have to do the scratch test on it. Little cross bracelet. This one has, no, it's just a defect. And another ring. Let's see if the ring is costume. This is a signed costume piece, actually. Nope, nope, it's 14 karat gold filled. <laughs> so this is a gold filled, gold filled ring. Little purple color stone in it. The stone in it is just glass. Here's some cute little earrings. Some interesting stones in this. Can't tell if Cindy, those are sturdy. Uh, yes. Cindy Loves Jewelry said, can you explain the turquoise scratch test briefly? Okay, so on turquoise, if you use your stone, your white stone, I guess you could use your black one too. I use the white one. If you scratch it and it's turquoise, it won't leave a mark at all. If it's halide or one of the substitutes, it leaves a blue mark from the dye and from the, it's just a softer stone. Turquoise is really hard, so it's very hard to scratch. And if it is like reconstituted turquoise, it'll leave a like residue. It won't be blue, but it'll leave almost like a waxy resiny residue on the stone. So that's the, I go by looking at it too. And, um, if I look at it and I'm not real sure whether it's turquoise or not, then I do the scratch test. Good to know. Here's a pendant. And this actually looks like it might have broke off of something. So this needs to go into a scrap sterling lot. It is a piece of sterling marcosite onyx, but... Looks like it broke off of something like, like it might have been, been an earring. Yeah. There's only one of them, so. And these look like possibly amber. Let's see. Or carnelian. Let me check. These do look like sterling, but they appear to be artisan made. 
And I think these are amber. Let me do an amber test real quick. They are not carnelian. Check with my light. I need to get a battery in my light. It's very weak. Give me one second to check. Nope, these are not glowing, so these may be carnelian. But they're pretty. They are, um, does look like sterling, and they do appear to be artisan made. So I'm going to put those in the test pile because they are not signed anywhere. And a little crystal bracelet go in the costume lot. All righty. Quite a variety. Yeah. Yeah, she definitely has a, a variety of stuff here. And there's plenty more. I'm going to try and get through it fast as I can here. Oh, gosh, there's a big old bag of rings and stuff there. What is this? A little piece of cloisonne and a ring box. Pretty. Yep, let me turn the light off before I run it the rest of the way down. Thank God I don't have to work tomorrow. All right, look at this. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Let's my. Let's see what is costume and what is sterling. That's sterling. Ooh, that's a pretty pendant. Beautiful piece of mother of pearl. Really beautiful piece of mother Very of pearl. Pretty. You can't see this real well, but it's a gorgeous piece. You have to go down on the light to I see Mother of Pearl for some reason. Too much light, you can't see it. But that's a pretty pendant. <laughs> and I believe I have a chain over I there to that. put it on. Oh, this is cute. That's a cute yes. brooch. It's a costume piece. Like another costume ring. Nice uh, wire wrapping on that, though. Pretty hard. Wow. Costume. That yeah, looks like possibly costume. That does not look like for me. Nope, I think that's a costume piece, but I'll test the silver on it. Ooh, that's pretty. You better get busy. You're going to be very I busy. I know, I know, I know. That is really pretty. It's copper. Does the Ellie, does the Ellie match the bracelet? Cindy wants to know. The what? Ellie? The what? Am I saying that right? Um, does the Ellie match the bracelet? Not sure which one you're talking about, Cindy. Oh, the elephant. <laughs> oh, the elephant matched the bracelet. Oh, good question. Now I get it. Now I get it. Good I am such a goose. I am such a goober. Not exactly, <laughs> but um, they'll probably both go in the jar, Cindy. The elephant, um, I can't tell if he used to be gold tone or not. Can't oh, tell on that one. But those will both go into the jar. He might have a little color wear, but he's still beautiful. This is really cool ring here. Look at this ring. This is so pretty. It's like a pave in the middle, and it's copper. How cool is that? And the stones are open in the back. I'm wondering if those are diamonds. I will try and test them. 
Oh my goodness, they are. Okay, so these are testing as diamonds, these bigger ones. These mm -hmm. bigger stones there are testing as diamonds. So I'm guessing all those ones in the middle are too. That is so cool. I love that ring. Holy it's macaronis. That is a beauty. Yeah, diamonds and copper. Who knew? Very cool. Very oh, pretty wow. ring. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous also. This is a really Sharon nice. Sharon didn't lick it. She just said mine this time. <laughs> okay, this has got the swan in it, but I can't tell if this is. Might have to trade it for some snacks. Or the glory yeah. of Vanderbilt swan. This might be the glory of Vanderbilt swan. What do you think, you guys? Is that Sarah? It looks like it would be Sarosky, doesn't it? I don't think hers has the circle like that, inside the circle like that. Okay, well then this is a Swarovski then, isn't it gorgeous? When I picked it up, I thought, oh, that is a really nicely made ring, and now I see why. Hi, Kate. Beautiful Swarovski. It's a gorgeous. That's, a, that's, that's not here. Gloria. I love that one. I might have to lick that one. I think you may have lost sound. Me. You froze. Hmm. Right when it was getting good, folks. Let's see what this is. This is marked 925, but I am not believing it, so I'm going to test that. I'm going to test the band on you that. You just froze, so I don't know what. Oops. you hear me, girl? It, yeah, I can hear you. you can you, you hear me? You just froze. Did yeah, I? Yeah, you froze for a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm back now. I was just saying this is marked 925, but I'm not believing it, so I'm going to test this. All right. Let's test that one because I'm not convinced that that's 925. And DC is 925 and it's marked SDJ. This is Vermeer. But boy, is that gorgeous. It's like two toned. Are you still but frozen, Kate? Some of the vermeil is worn off of this, but it is a beautiful ring, though. Isn't that pretty? Probably CZs, I would guess. I just got that. <laughs> oh, you girls crack me up. Yep, these are CZs. That is pretty, though. Pretty little ring. Another, this one if you're buying like it for yourself and you really want it, it doesn't matter if that's worn off because you're not going to be seeing that. You know, if it's for yourself. I wouldn't want to sell it like that, but somebody may want it. This is not, I'm not finding a mark on this, but it sure looks like sterling. So I'm going to test this one. Yeah, let's test the stones. These are CZs. So it goes in the test pile. Oh, I see a flip ring right there. This on the edge of the pile. Nope. This one's it. not more. Oh, no. This one is marked 925. I'm going to test it, though. You froze again. Am I frozen again? Not now. Not on my on my I'm not laptop. seeing a free. I'm, I'm not seeing a freeze. Am I freezing, guys? Here's another 925 little marquee diamond. They're not diamond, but CZ probably. 
Yep, little Marquis CZ Sterling. This looks like one of those pop-out rings. Let's see if it does. Oh, I thought it was a flip ring. No, it's like, you know, the the magnets pop mm -hmm. out of it. I don't see any magnet. Yep, that's what it is. You can, they're interchangeable. I wonder if there's more of these things in there. Seems like I might have seen some in the other bag. Have to look through it again. I know this is That's sterling. Cool. Yep, it is sterling. It's going to be fun testing all these. This has got a really fine band. This is Mark in chat. Thank you so much, everybody. This one is like Mark that. Sterling. Hi, Joyce. Ooh, that's parody. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. Mermay. Anybody who just came in, we're showing... Uh, Debbie Kendall stuff that she sent for her auction on Sunday. And then after These are we're done sapphires. With this, we have some to show. These are blue sapphires, and these may be natural blue sapphires. They are really deep color, very dark. Are these blue or black? Hold on. Nope, they're blue. I'm seeing blue. Yeah, and there, you know, there's there's variety in the shade of blue from one to the other. So I am pretty certain these are actual blue sapphires. These are not um, lab created. And I see some. Yeah, these are not lab created. These are legit sapphires. Beautiful though. Nice and there is bracelet. one stone right in the middle. Let me see if the white stones are also sapphires on these. I can hit it without touching metal. Darn it. Sorry, guys. Hi, Elizabeth. Actually, Thanks for coming. diamonds. There's one little diamond in the center of each of these. This is pretty. That's cute. Yeah, the color on this is really good, too. There's no color wear, so beautiful. Another beautiful piece. Mm, sterling band. Let me see. Yep, this one's marked sterling, and I will test it. Just a... Thick sterling band. A little amethyst ring. This is marked. And let's test the stone. It is an amethyst, a legit amethyst. I'm going to have fun testing all these rings. You can do it. This one is marked 925 and SS. This one does look like sterling. And this ring yeah, is testing pretty. as spinel. It's nice. testing as spinel on the green spinel. That's a parody one. That's a little uh, cross, two-toned. The cross is gold, and the band is a silver. Let's see if it's for me. This cute. one is marked 925, and... Yeah, the cross is for me. The band is 925. Going in the test pile. Oh, pretty bright. This looks like it should be fine. Oh, it's a pendant too. This looks like it could be gold filled also. 
do not see any marks on it anywhere, but it looks like a gold filled brooch. Or gold plated. Yep, I'm not seeing a mark anywhere. Let's see if these stones are glass. Oh, bummer, it's missing a stone, I just noticed. Missing a stone. I'm going to go in a craft lock. Yeah, right there on the top. So, craft lock. That's cute. Let's it is see. pretty. Sure, and to see if these are legit opals. I think these are. I'm not sure, actually. Hmm. Can't tell if these are Gilson or not. They look pretty good. Let's check the red stones. them to be CZ. These are probably um, Gilson opals. But it is a very vintage design. I don't think the ring is real vintage, but it is a very vintage looking design. Almost an antique looking design. Yeah, it's pretty. Yes, there are, Marzina. A lot of beautiful things. Little rope chain and bracelet. Here's a set. You planning on some buy it nows on Sunday, Sam? Sun? So uh, yeah, there. we can do some of these buy yeah, it now. There's a set of the twisted with mm. the bracelet and the necklace. This is cute. I like this. This is sterling. At least it looks like sterling, but I will test it. Um, let me look at the clasp, too. Yeah, I'm going to have to test this because I'm not 100% convinced on the clasp bracelet looks like sterling but i'm not convinced on the clasp so let me test that you're so smart elizabeth i love all the information everybody gives us peridot ring yes that is test as peridot very thin band but it is test as peridot Oh, that's pretty. It's like ruby and. But you retain. I don't. <laughs> this is marked 925. Let's see if it's testing as ruby. Sure is. Ruby on the pink and. Hi, Kate. CZ. So this is ruby and CZ's small size. Nice pearl in that one. Let's see what this one is marked. That's a pretty one. This is marked sterling and it does have a like a pictorial stamp in it. That's a pretty one. Almost looks like something from Jerusalem. Yeah, this is a nicely made one, too. This is well made. It's a pretty one. Those Israel ones I had are beautiful. I think this is one that Pat would like. I don't know if she's in right now, but it looks like something she would like. But it is Mark Sterling, so I will test it. I have not seen her tonight. Here's a pinned it.
cool looking pendant. I think that is. Hmm. This almost looks like some it's kind of green toys. Very dark green. No, I think some of them are larger, Elizabeth. I don't know if this chain is sterling. Though. Yeah, I think it's a costume chain. And I don't know if the pendant is costume. No, nope, the pendant says... Mark to JC. Kate said, tell us about the Debbie Kendall benefit. Um, Debbie Kendall is an older woman. She is on Medicare, basically. Well, she was on Medicare, and she got one of them crazy phone calls from the managed Medicaid's who, or Medicare's who talked her into signing up for their program and unfortunately those programs the managed medicares they don't cover a whole lot sometimes and there's so many of them that your doctors most of the time aren't even enrolled in it so she has some really high copay with her with her managed medicare so um she's getting she is a diabetic and she is on dialysis she's on in kidney failure complete kidney failure so she's on dialysis and she has some astronomical um, deductible and co-pays and hospital bills and so it's just a lot of medical bills piling up on her so all this jewelry that i'm showing now actually came from debbie she shipped it to us to sell for her and to help her pay down some of her medical expenses. Um, you know, obviously she's never going to be, even if she were young enough, she wouldn't be able to go back to work to be able to, you know, earn extra money to pay down these bills. So that's what we're hoping to do is help her pay down some of these medical expenses. Lord knows she gave me a lot of jewelry here. I showed some of it earlier. That looks like rose quartz on that pendant. Don't think the chain is sterling though. I'll have to check the chain out, but the quart but that is rose quartz. Another ring. This one may be costume though. Let's see. Uh, I'm getting that. This actually is a signed costume piece. I just can't see what it says. Yeah, there's something inside that one. I don't know what it is, though, but it's a pretty piece. Pretty ring. Any of these rings that are not sterling will go in the jar and a lot. This looks like sterling, but it's not signed. So, of course, one more to test. That's a cute one. Cute ring. I like that one. I think there was two of these. I think I already saw one like this. Mm -hmm. This I one's it. Yeah, Mark Sterling, the same as the other one. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute ring. Very fancy. This one is marked 925 also, and this one does look like 925, and let's see what these stones are. Cindy these has a hard gold, Kate. Carolyn, I don't know. Cindy, has anyone ever jewelry. asked you to sell jewelry? I'm sorry, has anybody ever asked you to sell jewelry for their for families after their mm -hmm. death? No. No, not yet. Not yet. 
these are testing as garnets. This is a really pretty ring, and this is marked sterling too. It's got a 925 in it. Aren't those? Isn't that pretty? I like that one. It's yeah, not a big Very ring, pretty. but it's a gorgeous ring. It's a size six. Yeah, I would like that. Oh, that's. It's a big ring. That would fit my ring finger. Yeah, these are orange garnets is what these are testing as. Mm. Yeah, pinky ring for, Very for me. Pretty. Yeah, it is beautiful. I like that one. No, I've had some odd requests. Yeah, and I licked that first. But never, <laughs> <laughs> never for someone who has passed. Um, we Victor have had type. a How do you say that? for a lady who lost her husband, though. That's another sterling ring. Here's it another. It makes my heart thing. happy to help. It makes yeah, my heart we, very happy to help. It, it's just a little bit of our time, you know? I mean, we're not... If we can help somebody by having a simple auction for them, why not? This is testing, too, as garnet. That one needs a little About straightening. 730, we usually start at 7.30. Filigree butterfly. And this one is marked Thailand. 925NF. I think I've had this one before, but I like that. Size. Yeah, I, I think we've both had this one, but larger size. I think recently I had one like this, actually. This one's tiny, though. Mm -hmm. Didn't realize there were so many rings in here. This one is 14 or 18 karat gold electroplate. Little gold electroplate that will go in the costume rings. The jar. Oh, I kind of like this. This is so simple, but kind of cool. I like this. This is also marked as 925. This day, we're, uh, we're showing drink. things that will be for sale, Mary. Yeah, this all this stuff, Mary, is going to be um, up for sale in Debbie's auction. And there's so much sterling that. I probably will also do a um, a sterling lot to probably right cool. at the end of the auction. I will do a sterling lot. I don't know if these are sterling or not. These look like possible costume. Sparkly. Yeah. I, yeah, they are sparkly. They are very pretty, but I think these are costume. They are yeah, pretty, pretty, though. Yeah. Ooh. That's the color of Morganite. Oh, that's cool, Cynthia. You, know what? you need to, to let tell. him know that. Oh, that's What's pretty. That? Yeah, there's some variety. Cynthia got all her there. stuff from Doug. Did she? And it, her husband loved his birthday ring. We need to let Doug know that. Okay, this may actually be Morganite on this one. It is not testing as a CZ. I'm going to have to see where Morganite lands. It's going in the, um, it's crossing over the tourmaline garnet. Um, I love yeah, that. Yeah, crossing over like three of these lines, but what makes me think this might actually be Morganite is that there is some variation in the color on the stones. They're not all one color. The smaller ones are a slightly different color. Um, usually when they're man-made, they're all the same color. Crystals. Thank you, Elizabeth. Love you, sweetie. This is Mark 925. This is a very pretty ring, too. This is small also, though. Well, not too bad. It's a size 8, actually. It's bigger than I thought it was. A size 8. That's a pretty one. Fits my middle finger. So I'll have to look up and see where Morganite is supposed to land on the tester. 
This is Mark CNC MOI and 925. I wonder if that MOI means moissanite. Let me see. Yep, that's exactly what that means. This is the moissanite ring. Vicky, guess what? It's probably your size. Sure is. Moissanite, moissanite ring, Vicky. Are you watching? She wants a moissanite ring. I have ring. not seen that girl. Well, she'll have to bid on that one. Yeah. Better yeah. let her know. Keep that to the side, though, so she can see it. Yeah. She's been wanting a moissanite ring for eternity, so. I have a small blue moissanite. Okay. This one is testing also. It's a band. It's Diamond. See, that one actually said MOI, so I know that one is probably moissanite, but this is testing as diamond also. And this has got a mark that I'm hoping somebody recognizes in it. This is a diamond. Anybody recognize that? And it's a decent sized diamond. Beautiful. That is testing as diamond. Anybody awesome. recognize that mark? Yeah, Very that's a, pretty. I like that. Yeah, that's a decent sized diamond on that one for sure. It's, it's not a big um, size though. It's a smaller size. Very well made though. Look at the band. It's very nicely done. But it is a five and a quarter. And that's probably at least a tenth that's of the That's very carat. important, Sharon, to be with your grandchildren. Can always see jewelry. Oh, cool. Well, have fun camping. That sounds like a lot of fun. My kind of camping is in a motel since yeah. I'm this old. <laughs> this definitely looks like Vermeer. Unless you get a nice car out there, then I'll sleep in a car. But I'm not going to sleep in a sleeping bag. That one's pretty. Yeah, these are testing in the tourmaline range again. So these are probably CDs. <laughs> we'll have to test this one. I'm going to have to find a way to test this one for sterling because these things are never marked. It's really hard to find a mark on these style of bracelets. I'm going to test that to make sure it's actually for me. Oh, Don't want it, that's it, cool. but I'm going to have to. Here's a little rope chain Vermeer bracelet. Another little bracelet, little braided bracelet. This is vintage. This one's been around a while. I can tell by, oops, sorry, this tab. That's good. That's what I'd do, Sharon. I haven't done that in a while with Samantha being 16 now. Had many okay. forts in the living room. I think we are finally making a dent in this jewelry. <laughs> Now I gotta combine it with the first bag of stuff. Ooh, that's pretty. I can get it untangled. I know she did, Elizabeth. Wow. I can't believe Samantha's sixteen. Going on seventeen. It's a really nice rope chain. Very nice rope chain. This almost looks like actual gold. Let me check it. Hey, Stephen. Hey, Stephen. Got some beautiful Trafari brooches in Debbie's stuff for Saturday. Or Sunday, I mean. Cool. Do that, Stephen. 
Yes, there this is. is. Uh, Kate. Kate wants to know, is there a way that we can donate to Debs even if we don't buy anything? There is, yes. You can um, send it directly to Debbie's PayPal, and I'll have that information up. Okay, I believe this is a gold chain, guys. Trying to find. Yeah, Doug's over the top. He does everything so wonderful. Puts me to shame. <laughs> Me and my uh, Yahtzee cup. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I cannot. But I love it. Great angle. Yes, this is marked 14K. This is a 14 karat gold chain. It's a heavy oh. one, too. Yep. And let's see if the pendant is. No, That's the pendant beautiful. is 925. It's marked P-A-J, and it's C-Z-925, but the chain is marked 14K. That's a beautiful chain, yeah. just by itself. Yep, yeah, it's a nice rope chain. Sharon's Sorry. looking again. Yeah, that's a nice one. Sharon, you better buy lots of snacks tomorrow, Sharon. <laughs> You're going to be here for a while. <laughs> Cynthia wants the chain, too. Battle for the chain. Yeah, I'll have to test it no and bad. weigh it and all of that and come up with the price. Okay. I think this is Mark 925, but I can't tell. Or wait a minute, is that a Premier Designs? I can't, can't really Did see it. you get your little there. E, Elizabeth? Everybody's stuff was mailed. I have this other stuff to go out now. Okay, this Let's is... try to get it. Four well, what out? Oh, gold I'm sorry. Chain on this one. Oh, go ahead. It's a 14 karat gold plated chain on this one. So I think... Awesome. That's pendant. a pretty piece right there. Yeah, it's a gold-plated pendant, I believe, also. Oh, good, Elizabeth. Yeah, I thought it was cute. Easy. Well, I'm not going to send out any more gifts. for uh, gifts. I'm not going to send out any more packages, even if you've paid um, oh. until Monday, because what are you doing over there, woman? Oh, sorry, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm going to put my drawer out too far. Sorry. I don't want to uh, have to charge you with another shipping. So I'll hold on to everything because I'm hoping every one of you is coming at least by one thing for Debbie. We really need to get her some funds and, and she's donated her jewelry. You're all welcome to donate. You're all welcome to um, do anything you can do to help her. We yeah, appreciate that. Her and letting her know you care, even if you can't make a purchase, you know, mm -hmm. not a big deal. Just come hang out with us. Here's another nice watch. This one is, I don't see a brand name on this one, though. And the biggest thing you can do is pray for her. Absolutely exactly. go to God over. But she did put she a couple a lot of watches. pieces in here. This is AccuTime. Watch. Yeah, AccuTime is the brand name on this one. This one looks in to be in good shape. And this one is running. So you'll Another be do, watch. doing um, single watches, but you're going to do a watch lot too, right? I Yeah, I'm going to do a watch lot on most of them. Some of those higher end watches I will put up individually i Here's hope so little. marzina that was a good package marzina you have good taste see what we have here these look to be custom yes these are custom but they look brand new hey designs Hi, Kristen, and hello to anybody I missed while I was absorbed in the jewelry. I'm almost done here. Well, wow, this is a designs. lot of jewelry. It's going to take me forever to put it away while you show your stuff, Roberta. 
Okay, a 925 Bengal silver with a chain. Still has its chain. That's a nice one. That's in really good condition. No, I'm, I'm looking at that. I like that. I'm going to hit that with the polisher. Hi, Laura. I like oh, that it's don't blind. It doesn't have any of that etching on it. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. like the etching, but that one's pretty. There's no dents in that yeah, or anything. They, um, but we find more of those than we do plain. So I like that about the plain one. These look like ster Oh, yeah, these are marked. These are sterling. Oops. Mm -hmm. Nice hoops there. Hey, Velvet Sunflower, do you have that, do you have that, um, pineapple handy? <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes, I do, actually. No, I don't. So I'm glad, Laura, I hope you like it. I do not. Um, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I do. I do have the pineapple handy. I have to get it undone. Little tiny pineapple, though. <laughs> It's cute. Velvet. Pineapple velvet. It is a sterling. Well, it's actually Vermeil pineapple. So right now it is entangled with another chain. I'm going to have to undo. This actually says something. This is a... Can't read it. Of course, I can't read it. Something she likes it. Bass rise something emporium, China emporium. <laughs> A little poison a piece. That's pretty. Not legit, though it's um, it's what the world is that. like an elf doesn't it <laughs> no idea what that is there's earrings these are cute go blind tonight Cynthia is asking what bracelet are you wearing oh, she is bought it this from me a long time ago you move it if it's is that the one you got from me Yep, that's the one I got from you. Can't tell. These look like. Let's see if these have a signature anywhere. It's a honker. Nope. They look like they might have been. I'm going to run down and make a cup of tea. Signed. Um, anywhere? Okay. I'm going to make a cup of tea real quick. Okay, Hopefully, be right I'll down. be done by the time you get back. More crystal beads go in the craft jar. Those are pretty purple color. Wow. Intense purple. Little mother of, or not mother. Actually, this is Mark 925, and it is Mark Natea. Natea, N-E-T-Y-A. For May, there's a little, or kind of a gold wash. There's a little bit of wear on that, though. But a tree of life. And excuse my nails if you're just joining us. I've broken like four nails since we started this video, trying to open fasteners and stuff with my nails. I think she did them a little too thin this time. Costume, rhinestone earrings. Those are pretty. They're not signed, but they are pretty. Very sparkly crystals, rhinestones in those. 
Oh, wait a minute. Maybe they are signed. I see something on them. Oh, they are. I could only read it. It's like LGPA something. Let me see if I can get it to enlarge. Maybe you guys will recognize it. These are signed. These look very well made, too. Darn it, it's not going to focus on that. And you guys would recognize what it says. I can't read it. But they are signed. I'm going to have to figure that out because these look like good earrings. Oh, Liz. It's Liz something. Liz something with a P. Anybody? Oh, okay, that's it, Liz, right there, Elizabeth. All right, let me write that down because I won't remember it later, but that's exactly what they say, and those look like very nice earrings. Here's a pretty copper bracelet. earrings with glass beads okay. these are cute Little hats don't know if these are Sterling, though, these look like custom. Yep, these are custom, but they're really cute. Oh, those are adorable. Aren't they Cindy, cute? Um, Cynthia would like to see your bracelet, please. Which bracelet? Oh, the one that um, I took it off because I was worried it was cl I was clanking it on the mic. Beautiful bracelet. I prayed up a little for it, but it was worth every penny. Well, actually, it was fairly reasonable. I got the friends and family discount from Roe, and it was uh, <laughs> worth probably you did. quite you a did, bit actually. more than what I paid for it because these all turned out to be stones, and we didn't have our machine when I bought this from mm -hmm. Roberta. I bought this from her a long time ago. But these are all citrines. And these are all actual gemstones. So really good price. And I like the way it opens. It just pops open on one side so you can put it on. If I took it off, you can see it needs a cleaning. It's tarnishing. Um, definitely tarnished. But beautiful. More than one I love that bracelet. It's one you. of my favorites. Another little pair of earrings. Little and there you have it. Trying to sort the sterling as we go. These are SNY, which I'm sure is a brand name. And 925, these are sterling also. Let me put these together so I can clean them and test them. Got some beautiful stuff here. A lot of work ahead yeah. of you, though, woman. Yeah, lots of it. I should have done it sooner, but I completely forgot about all this stuff until tonight. Cute little flip-flop bracelet, little cross on there. This looks like costume. This will go into the jar. And a little one. 
little tiny ring. Who was wanting the really tiny, tiny rings? This one, let's see if this has got a... Hi, Beth Collins. It does. This is CZ. It's marked 925CZ. This is a dinky one. Somebody was asking for super tiny. Well, they're super tiny. It's a two and three quarter. Oh, that one in the infant ring. Yeah, Knuckle barely ring. end of my little finger. All right, so that was it for the bag. I think I'm almost done. Just a few more pieces. Of this. And we'll let the bird go. What it is. Oh, the letter D. And a strand or a straggler. The letter D. Debbie. D for Debbie. Another watch. This is a glamour watch is what it is. Oh, look at this cool. JJ, it's got to be a JJ. Yep, JJ. Isn't that cute? Oh, I have the, I have the silver tone one. I'll be, I'll be riding for that one. This looks like it's signed also. MJ. Completely forgot what the MJ stands for, too. That's a nice one. I love that. Oh, that is such a cool Marzina brooch. Marzina said the little triangle with that character on it is from Nintendo. It's probably worth a lot of money. On the keychain thing there. The keychain thing. Well, it was like yeah. a little beaded keychain. Not... Oh, 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 this. Really? Really? That's worth a lot of money? Seriously? How cool. All righty. Interesting. Nintendo. Very cool. Collectors, well, I know. This is interesting. This is gold plated 120th 12k gold field and it actually has a maker's mark there. See the R there, two lines above it, two lines below it. Anybody recognize that? It's pretty. Nice bracelet. For a burn. Charms and R for Roberta. Let's see. Some of these are probably sterling. Nope, that one's also 12 karat gold filled on that one. What does that say? Bridesmaid. But that one is not signed I anywhere. Can't be. That one says Merry Christmas. That's so that's another. cool to get one of them in, in gold tone. <clears throat> this is a different brand, but it looks to be another gold filled, 12 karat gold on that one. That one just has a date, 2470. Happy birthday. Elizabeth said, Cindy, look up M-J-E-N-T, Gent, for that brooch. For this one? The palm tree? Mm -hmm. J-E-N-T on the brooch. Okay. And it's marked M-J, and you want me to look up J-E-N-T. All right. It's a really cool brooch. I really like that one. Very heavy on the enameling. That is not going to chip off unless you take a hammer to it. 
Alrighty, I think, is that it? Did I finally get through it? Oh, I'm stray one earring, but I'll probably find it in the in there somewhere. It's one stray earring. Here's another little pendant. That's kind of cool. This is signed Thailand 925 and STS. That needs a cleaning for sure because it's silver and it is tarnished a little yellow. Not sure what that stone is though. That actually does look like quartz. Yeah, I think that's it's actually landing on quartz. That might be some cat's eye quartz for sure. Cute pendant though. All right, that's heavy duty silver on that one. It's heavy silver. Alrighty. Almost done. No way am I going to have time to sell all this. We're going to, oh my gosh, a whole other box of silver. Oh, I thought it, huh. No way are we going to get through all this. So I'm going to do it quickly. Not going to examine every piece. That's a nice ring. Ooh, that's a nice one too. Nice. Ready. Like oh, that. I think the stone in that one is cracked, but it's pretty. That looks like costume. I will check these out closer later. This one almost looks like gold. I have to look at it closer. It might be gold. Ooh, that's cute. That's cool, too. Mm -hmm. Another one of those wire wrap ones. Yep. You know what? I think Debbie I love bought that this one. one for me. I believe she bought this for me. Actually. Yep, I'm pretty sure she bought this for me. I love this ring. So guys, and we have I earrings that look like this it. Is gorgeous. I love this one. Mm -hmm. I obviously won't have time to get through all of this stuff tonight. Whatever I cannot um, sell for her auction, whatever we can't get through, I am buying off of her. So I'm going to send her money for whatever's left over just to help her out even more so if it doesn't come up for auction on sunday it will eventually but if you see something you want this is signed sjd2 it's a pretty one um, but if you do see something i've shown and you want me to bring it out please let me know these are all sterling that i'm showing now I like that. Yeah, that's a nice one. Let me check this. It's Debbie's almost. medical bills, Laura. Yeah, that's signed 925 Italy. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, that's nice. Is that gold? Or sterling, I mean. That almost looks like it could be. Oops. I believe that it is. Certainly looks like it. Yeah, I'm going to have to check this closely. Oh, there's a stamp right there. Yes, it is, Sterling. It says CC925. Beautiful piece. It's for May, but look how pretty it is. All the stuff through there. That's just gorgeous. Very good condition. Looks like jade. 
another sterling bracelet <laughs> and black hills silver watch band nope it's wow. a bracelet that it was a watch band but it's an actual bracelet i think it's black hills silver looks to be oh wait a minute it might be black hills gold I believe it's marked 10K, but I will have to check it closer later. That looks like Black Hills Gold there. Beautiful. Yep. I'll have to really check this over, but this part of it looks like there is a 14K mark on it, and I will look at it closer later. Another little tiny ring. Gorge. Gorge. Little tiny, Gorgeous. tiny ring. And those are not sparkly enough to be CZs. Let me look at these and see if these are something besides CZs. Mm, nope, they're CZs. That's cute. Mm -hmm. So there, there's a lot of vermeil in here, but there's also a lot of, oh, that looks a lot like that other one, doesn't it? That, that other one, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it just says 925. There's a lot of vermeil, but there's also a lot of just plain sterling in here, too. And this actually looks like it could be gold. But I am not seeing a mark at all, but inside that looks like gold. I have to check that one out. Little bracelet. 925 cross bracelet. So lots and lots of stuff, guys. Definitely be doing a um, silver lot because. There's just tons. There's probably three pounds of silver all together in these boxes, two boxes, if not Wonderful. more. Okay, so she said there was diamond earrings in here, so that is what I'm looking for now. I found those CZ studs in gold, but I haven't found any diamond earrings yet. Maybe these are it. Yes, I think I found them. Yep, here's the diamond studs. Mm -hmm. The other ones tested as CZs, but were set in 14K. These are testing as diamond. Let me see if these are. Yeah, these look to be also 14K, and these are diamond. So nice, a little pair of 14 karat diamond studs. Beautiful. Put these back in the bag before I lose them. Okay, um, I think that is it. For yes, Judy. Okay, well, let's see. Hopefully, oh, look at this. Oh, that's got to be a Sarah. Let's look. Sure is, Sarah Coventry. See what I mean Very about pretty. Sarah Coventry brooches? They're just so gorgeous. Mm-hmm. I, I agree. Another watch for the lot. All right. This is it. And we are done with her stuff. Oh, that's an empty box. Pearl bracelet. It's also to be vermeil or gold. I'll check it later. The band, that little pearl bracelet. And pretty. Another 
another vermeil piece that one's pretty too that looks like that could possibly be a diamond too let me tell test that one later and last box pretty oh very nice rhinestone piece all the rhinestones look to be there let's see oh wait a minute i take that back it's missing one rhinestone right there one purple one a couple of giant pearls on leather oh that's a tiffany sure is oh. tiffany new york 925 have to make sure that's a legit Tiffany looks to be interesting little heart I think that's pretty much it another little loose looks like a loose onyx that went inside a ring I have a ring that has this actual setting onyx with a little diamond in the middle a little mm -hmm. D brooch for Debbie and a little pair of rose gold. Let me see. These look like they could possibly be Pandora, but I'll look at them closer later. Raven said, yeah. check the box. The CZ might be in it. A little rhinestone. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Could be in it. Yep, I'll look for it later. But that is finally the end of it. Here's another pair of those threaders. Except for these are gold where the other ones were sterling. These are gold tone. All right. That's it, Ro. You are up while I put all this away. Oh, wait a minute. I missed one. Some miss. That's oh cute. My. So some really beautiful stuff Debbie sent. Nice, nice. So I'm going to have to find Design a way to... show by the broken stuff. Okay, you got it. You mean the broken sterling, right, um, designs? You got it, and I probably put up a... Probably um, any. I'll sell all these individual stones, too, because this could be set right back in the ring. This is onyx, and I'm sure that's a diamond in the middle, but I will test it. But I'm going to sell all those loose stones, too. I don't know if you saw that big 43-carat citrine in the beginning. All right, Ro, you're up. She said and costume, too. Oh, okay. All you right. got it. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to just make a big, like, there wasn't a lot of broken stuff. There was a few pieces. So if you're interested in all that, I'll just throw it all in a bag, Kristen. I got a lot today, as a matter of fact. And we're going to look at it together. I'm going to mute myself because I'm going to be putting this stuff away and I don't want to make too much noise. Oh, look at this. And she lived happily ever after. <laughs> Where does this need to be? You know that needs to be cleaned. It appears to be 925. This is supposed to be a, a sterling lot, so I'm assuming. Of course, I have to check all this, y'all. But this says... Can't read it from there. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, hold on. I wasn't prepared. Comstock. Comstock Sterling. So it's just three little stars, little cuff. I'm not going to measure anything, I'm just going to show you. This is a cute little bracelet. Some little stones in it. I will test them because my machine is on. All cooked up. Nope, these aren't going anywhere. So those are just little rhinestones, but they're cute. Can't wait to see this shined up. Here is a little brooch. 
little circle brooch signed right there silver hmm. I think it says Bo Bo Sterling uh oh Sandy oh that looks like a little dog what do y'all think I can't you read found the chat when I'm doing this but look at it that cute looks like actually Oh, this bow. Nice. All righty. Look at this. It looks like a little dog. I think it's probably something else. It says Sterling and then a little arrow, some sort of little mark right there. Oh, I can't wait to see that cleaned up. Oh, look at this little rose. That's adorable. 925 and some other little marks on it. Oh no, Cindy. Yes. You're not the only one that has dolphins. <laughs> Did you get the that. dolphins this time? Goes up a little bit, but not much. So it's probably just a CZ. Cute little dolphin. Oh, this is pretty. Reminds me of a brooch Mary bought the other day. I don't see any mark on it, but it looks sterling. I don't know what that green stone is. Oh, look at this. I get a lot of tennis bracelets, but nothing like this. Let's check these out. Ooh, it's going up to Citrine. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love that. My birthstone. Okay. That's a pretty one. Are those what like is in these triangle shaped stones in there? I couldn't I can tell. That no, they're round, person. but they're in a little. They're like round, a little but they're triangle. in a triangle. Yeah. Oh, so that one's Those very cool. I like that one. Pretty, pretty. Mm. All right. This brooch says, I keep burning myself on my tester. Sterling, Denmark, 101, 925. George Jensen? Mm, a lot of stuff on there I gotta look up. Very pretty brooch. Oh, I'm gonna be all day Sunday trying to get this stuff together. And tomorrow, I'm glad I got my jewelry ready today. This is pretty. <laughs> Let's see what this says. Napier Sterling. Wow. Nice. Ooh, that's not common to find. I don't think I've found I know. maybe one piece of Napier sterling in the whole time I've been but doing this. Is, this. People don't this give it up, a, apparently. Verme. That's nice and heavy. I can't see the... Was that with your <laughs> lot this week? Yes. All this is the lot. Oh, ho, ho. the Virginia lot, oh, really nice. Mm -hmm. These are real pearls. Oh, my goodness! Oh, no, that's beautiful. I gotta see what it says. It says sterling, and that's all. Look at this brooch, those are all pearls. Oh, this is so vintage. No, it's not a long. Oh, wow. Nice. That is so pretty. And this is like a little carved etching in there. That is so beautiful. Can't wait to show that to Pat. Well, I told him I wanted all rings next time, so. Oh, look. <laughs> Hopefully we get it. Oh, that one's really cute. 
says Bo Sterling. You're kidding me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Bo Sterling. I'm going to have to tell him I collect two the bow. Things I'm not start gonna... putting the bow in my bag and not yours. <laughs> two things I won't be selling. <laughs> I'm going to have to tell him to this put one. the Bo Sterling in my bags from now on. <laughs> he knows to put JJ oh, in that's yours. Pretty. Let's see what this says. That's too Please funny. Don't say Bo. <laughs> I this, hope it does. <laughs> this says Sterling, Germany. Oh, nice. That. Isn't that beautiful? All that work. You know, I will pay so you for those, though, Roberta. You cannot get those to me. Care. Oh, Cindy. You cannot Cindy. get them. I'm telling you this now. You can't another, get them. Uh, this is another. Beautiful brooch, and it says F O R S T N E R. Forstner Sterling. Yes, that's a good brand. Look it up. Cartouche right there. Look at that. Look it one. up. It's a vintage brand. Isn't that cool? Yep. Look at how cool that is. Did you ask him for brooches? Nice. I may have because. I didn't even think I needed brooches. Him for brooches and rings this week. I'm actually, I think, about buying two lots this week. Well, here's another Bo Sterling. <laughs> You're the one who asked for brooches, girl. Ooh, I like that one too. Okay, well, I'll buy those Bo Sterling. This one. Let me see what this says. I don't see anything on this, but I can tell it's sterling. And it's adorable. Another fish. I think I got a Forstner in my lot too this week. I don't remember them. Yes, this will be, um, Susan, this will be up for sale tomorrow night after I clean and look them up. And you find got a really nice beautiful. lot. Were you happy with your lot this week? Other than all the bow. <laughs> oh, gosh, so far, I am very happy with this. I don't, don't see any mark on this, but this is the color of a... I'm thinking I like, like yours. A rose I think gold I color. I like yours even better than mine, and I like mine. This is a rose color. I'd have to test these, but these are beautiful. It's like a rose color. Mm -hmm. Oh, are those um? See a mark on them. Are those rose quartz in the middle? Don't know. Don't know. Let's take a check. Um, no, these aren't. Oh, wait a minute. They're going up, but I might have to calibrate. Very pretty. This is just an. Oh no, those are little stones there. These are little stones around it. I thought it was You're going to be shocked really when you see that I claimed my whole lot. <clears throat> did. I did. I, I'll be busy tomorrow. I did, I did. This is cute. Little musical note. These are pretty. I did not claim all my native stuff that came in yet, but I did get my silver, my regular silver lot cleaned. Can't this is 925 L-I-R-M and then a space and a Hi, T-H. Susan no nice clue. to see you, honey. Thank you for coming back. These are gorgeous. So they're Vermeer. Here's a cute little... These are what I use for giveaways, so that's nice. Just a little giveaway. Needs to be cleaned. Look at this. Yes, all of this stuff, everything we're showing will be up for auction either Saturday or Sunday. This first stuff that I showed will be on Sunday for a benefit auction we're having for a friend. And um, all the proceeds will go to a friend. And um, Saturday is Roberta and I's auction. And the stuff that she's showing now and what I'm going to show after her will all be on Saturday night. Uh, yes, these will come up on Saturday for, 
for Debbie Kendall. Um, she is an older woman who is um, on a managed Medicaid or Medicare, which doesn't cover a whole lot. It's a huge deductible. And um, so she's got like 5,000 a year deductible. Plus she's got a really huge hospital bill that her insurance did not cover all of it. She's on dialysis. She's a diabetic, so she lost her kidneys due to dialysis. She's in complete kidney failure. So um, she's doing home dialysis, and we are doing an auction to help her um, pay some of her hospital bills. So everything that Design we sell sense. Sunday will go to Debbie. Every penny will go to Debbie. Designs. That's why I'm on Cindy's channel all the time. My internet oh my God, stuck so bad. With bracelets in it. <laughs> right, oh, let's no. do another bag. Let's do another bag. I'm so excited. I found two more sterling bracelets. That's too funny. I don't even know where these yeah. came from. Ooh. Where do you see this? I, oh, I do see a mark. It says... 925-ETS. Look at this. I hope it's showing. Nice big slab of bacon. <laughs> Pretty. Rotocrosite. Oh, that's so pretty. Does that have green in it, too? Ooh, pretty no. on the back, too. You should look that one Beautiful. up. That looks kind of fancy. Oh, that's so nice. I know with the, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't look like you're running. I'll be looking at all of this. Up. Oh, that's pink. Let me see if that's, no, no, I don't know. I don't think okay. that's. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to put my order in too, because I really like your lot. It's too flat. I don't think it's shell marked up in there but isn't that beautiful i think that's it's beautiful. gorgeous is it shell or i can't i don't think so because it's too flat it's not rounded or anything see that yeah but i've been wrong before no i think it's plastic still gorgeous and it's in sterling Ooh, looky here Ooh, I like that. Nope. Nothing. Doesn't do anything, but it's still very pretty. Well, the Medicare is is much better, but she's got a managed Medicare. So, you know, all those commercials you see on TV for like Humana and Cigna and United Healthcare and all those ones that say, we'll put $144 back into your disability or your social security mm. kind of people yeah when they call you hang up that's all i can say somebody just okay. called me today and i hung up hang up good Andy, <laughs> you do not have an exclusive you do not have an exclusive on dolphins yeah but look is that opal in your dolphins all right it says nine two five on the back I can't. <laughs> Is it opal well, or shell? It's, it's set in there. I don't know. It's it's made to look like opal. What do you think? I think it could possibly be. I can't tell by looking here, but kind of looking a little bit by like blue opal what is, is there any signature on the dolphins anywhere no, just 925 right there hmm it is pretty and that is inlaid it's yeah, inside the dolphin of very pretty Oh, for heaven's sake. Yeah, I see she's this. going to go back on Medicare when re-enrollment period comes up. But for now, she's kind of stuck with these bills. Yeah, thank this. you for doing that, Raven. I hate those people. 
hates the strong word now. She would have been better off. Look where at that. She, what she's, oh, that's awesome. Isn't that cute? That's sterling. Well, I got to test it, but. And is it that um, be. Shell? Yes, abalone. Abalone with sterling. That is too yes, cool. Is that not the I am loving your lot. You want to trade lots? <laughs> no. I am Ooh, actually looking for the whole of that. Look at, look at these retro. Are those cute? Those are the mother, mother of pearl. pearl. That's too cool. With sterling. Oh, those, those are so cool. The sterling right know? in the middle. It's kind of reversed, right? <laughs> that sterling right wait. in the middle. Yeah, I can't wait to. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to test these. And clean them <laughs> yeah, up. That's the right cute. Word substance, oh, sure, no. Dude. Hey, Cynthia. Oh. That's right up my alley. They do. Jesus. They promise you the moon. They promise you'll have less out of pocket and all of that. What they don't tell you is that most of your doctors aren't going to take it. I know it happens to my Texas patients now. all the time. They come in and find out it's an insurance we're not enrolled in and they have to pay cash until they can get disenrolled. These are cute. Those are Little adorable. Fans. Do those actually? Oh, no, they don't. For a second, I thought they were articulating. You did some kind of maker's mark it's and then a 925. At once that was articulating. You're not going to believe this. Look, dolphins jumping through. <laughs> those are cute. When she gets back on full Medicare, they'll pick up a lot more of it. She won't have, she'll probably pay more for medications, but um, the rest of the stuff will be um, covered pretty much. Usually with Medicare, you that have $150 a year deductible. When you're 65 anyway, you have $150 deductible. And 20%, but then if you have Medicare or some kind of supplemental, you, um, or Medicaid, Medicaid will pick up your 20% and your deductible. That went up to Spinel. But the thing is, is they call you and make you think you're buying a supplemental and that they're going to pick up everything Medicare doesn't. But it really doesn't work that way. And it's not a supplemental. It's instead of. Not in yes, a design. They call it completed of your Medicare. They called completed Jews. I, That's what I, they call AARP does have a supplemental that will pick up all of your Medicare. Um, that Medicare doesn't. But most of them are not a supplemental. The key word is you got to ask them is that. for managed Medicare. Will my doctor be billing Medicare or will he be billing you? That's the question you need to ask. This little bracelet says 925 Italy. That's kind of cute, though. It's got a little yep. gold. I know exactly who you're. Yes, Jews for Jesus has been around for a while. chain here kind of cool I cannot wait to clean this stuff up I'll be busy tomorrow that's kind of a cool chain Ooh, here's another cool chain that's attached yeah, to this there's a, a lot of um, um, Jewish that do believe in Jesus Elizabeth and it is what she says Jews for Jesus It says a CM925 on the back. Kind of pretty. Get a lot of things like this, but that is pretty. CM, don't know. Well, this is pretty. Actually, I'm All so these. happy that you have so much to show tonight. It's awesome, Ruth. 
came in on Friday this before you had to sell it was probably a good thing, right? <laughs> no kidding. You didn't sell it on Wednesday or Thursday. Except I wish I had time to clean it. Well, I got one more bag. I cleaned all of mine today. But I didn't get in as much as you. I got in a lot of the native stuff today, but I only got you in sent one. Me pictures. I was in the store passing out. Oh. I was trying to make Beautiful you jelly. Because oh, you always send me every oh, almost every day gosh. I get pictures and I'm like oh. so jealous. I'm like, where did you get that? Where did you get that? Yeah. So I was trying to give them a payback today. <laughs> This is um, very pretty. This is 925 Thailand, and I would bet that's Jade. Yep, it's going up there. So Jade and uh, Marcusites, and the Marcusites are all there. I can't wait to clean this that's up. That's beautiful. But this is tiny. This is, well, it's a seven. But look I've how seen, small it looks. I've it looks seen, tiny. Um, Jade mixed with marcasites in those little rings where there's like a strip of jade oh, and a strip okay. of marcasites, but I've not seen one like that. That's beautiful. This is all from your that lot. Is so pretty. And you got just mm -hmm. one lot. That's I asked for rings. I asked for rings. So these are the rings that. That I was got. a really big this lot. Is cool. I hope. I got some this really nine heavy and a quarter. in mine, so mine isn't quite as big because I asked for big pieces, so I got I got some larger pieces in mine. This goes up but to spin now. I told him I want nothing oh, but rings court. this week, bro. <laughs> I want all rings. This is in the quartz, the very end of quartz, but in the spin now, so... I say quartz, but look at that. Look at the cut on that. So next week I may be having an all ring auction. That's pretty. That's cool. I think this is so beautiful. A nine, between a nine and, and a quarter and nine and a half. Wow, you got some nice oh, stuff. This oh, look at this ring. Oh my gosh, look at this ring. Oh, please be something. Please, please, please. Oh, it's not moving. It's not moving. I, I think I only this, got this two just or three rings in my beautiful. lot. Beautiful. He gave them all to you this week. No, I asked for. I asked for. I asked for rings specifically. I got a hundred grams of rings. This is just. This says nine two five, but it has Marcus. Oh, square mark site. Good thing I just ordered some. Two square mark sites. That's going to be beautiful when it comes back to y'all. I'll put the square marker sites in, and that will be shiny, and it doesn't matter if those are just glass. All beautiful. the marker sites around the top. Oh, that's are a pretty they, one. Is that green? Is it green? Like that pale green color? No, nope, just, just white. No, I couldn't just tell. White. It, looked like, uh, it looked green there mm. for a second. This is pretty. Oh, we got a lot of pretties. Missing. No, this has a stone missing. Darn it. I wonder if I should send these back to him. I think I should be so petty. If you can't fix it, send it back. Nine to five. Well, this one missing there, one missing here. But this is beautiful. I wonder if it tests anything. Are they Marcus? Yeah, it's going up. All right, this is Aqua. And the little stones on the corner. Oh, they're going up to. They're going up to spinel. So, aqua and spinel. But there's a couple of little clear stones missing. Darn. Maybe I'm just seeing it that way. Maybe I'm tired. I'll have to look at that better tomorrow. It might be illusion settings. That will look better cleaned up. Oh my gosh. Look at this ring. Oh my gosh, I barely want to look now. Oh, that's awesome. Look at this ring. Oh, I'm scared to test that's it. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. It doesn't go anywhere. 
So have you not looked I'm at your stuff? right now? No, I just got home. I told you I just got oh, home. So we're all seeing it for the first time. Cool. Usually I took it out of the... Uh, before she shows us. Oh, you know I can't. That's why I was waiting for the mail. We were running late because I wanted the mail to come first. 925. No JJ in there. But I don't care. Look at that. Oh, that's so a beauty. Oh, I'm going to see the size. It's a size eight. Can you see how pretty that is? But Gorgeous. that's just glass. It's a good size too. Hey, but who cares? Oh, I love that. This is cute. That's a big ring. You know what? That says Israel. I thought so. I had a piece of jewelry. It's in my shop. Oh no, it says Thailand. It's it's a lighter weight, but it's all sterling. And I had a uh, um, I have a pendant like this. It's not the shape, but it's the same. It's lightweight but pretty. Yes, I want it, Stephen. Are you out of your mind? That's very odd to have a JJ with missing stones. I don't often. Oh my goodness. Did you get Look a JJ? You get a JJ with missing stones. I will fix it. In this for you, Steven. Look at this. Look at this That's bug. A JJ? <laughs> I don't know. No, Steven has a JJ with missing stones. Oh, Look at him. Yeah, he, that's he moved. Pretty uncommon. Somebody must have oh. abused it. That's why they started the JJ oh, line goodness. is to yep. keep they the get stone. Tired of, mm -hmm. They get tired of people. All right, it's just Mark 925. I would have thought this was a JJ. Oh, please be a real stone. Nope, another not real stone. But look at this bug. <laughs> it's actually That's cute. Cool. That's a ring. Oh. Yeah, yes. I love that, right? Look at how cute it is. It's a large. Let me see how large it is. It's a nine and a quarter. Zolly's going to love that. That is too cute. And all his marcasites are there. Oh, I'm sorry. That's cute. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, I love sparkly things. It's just a 925. Look at how pretty that is. I did get a Sage in piece in mine one. this week. Oh, I think I told you that, though, didn't I? No. Yeah, I Was got a cute? Sage. I I showed you. Didn't I show you what I got this week already? No? Oh, it's I'm just so a small tired. sage and pendant. It's not a ring, it's a pendant. Okay, I might have seen that. It's a drizzy pendant. Oh, oh, God, cramp in the leg. Uh -huh. <laughs> you blew me away with that, Stephen, telling me about that. This, oh, another not stone stone. But these are red stones. They're very pretty, and this is marcasite. And it's oh, only Mark 925. Yeah, that would be so awesome. He's offering He's you just, the ring. I know. He, just, he told me about this. And I was I was letting him to tell. I was waiting to have him tell you the surprise. He's going to send us stuff for our giveaways. Oh, and it's just so awesome sweet. that you even. Steven, that's so cool. These are three different color stones. Please, please, please be stones. One of our new again. Silver, oh, one of our new silver contacts is giving us pieces here and there to give you guys as giveaways too. All right, these two stones. Uh, this comes up as uh, amethyst. This comes up as topaz. But this doesn't go anywhere. The red one. But that is a cute little ring. 
these rings are cute whether the stones are gemstones or not. Nobody has to know. I would have liked them to have been gemstones. Like if that was a diamond. <laughs> nope, it's just a CZ. But that's kind of pretty. Another larger size ring. All of these will be tested. This is stir. And there's some maker's marks inside. And it has a CZ. So God, my hands it is a pretty terrible. ring. I'm cleaning all this jewelry. I need to go. No. Lotion, I'll be right back. A Harley Davidson ring. I don't believe it. Look. Oh. Either a guy's pinky or a girl's. Oh, I can't wait to see this shined up. Matter of fact, I can't wait. I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> oh, this right here is a little bit of change. Can you see it? My sister is a Harley Davidson freak, motorcycle mama, but she doesn't like me, so this will be up for sale. <laughs> that was mean, wasn't it? Darn it, I can't get to the hand lotion. It's in the bedroom. My husband's asleep. I almost put his beard cream on my hands and realized it was beard <laughs> cream and not hand lotion. You remind me of something I did. I popped my hand cream in the bathroom and I said, oh, this is awful sticky. It was ponds, you know, whatever. And Samantha goes, what are you doing? I said, well, this is hand cream. She goes, Mama, that is pump soap. <laughs> well, we had my, soap my, on my cheeks. <laughs> when my husband was still active pretty. duty, one of his friends married a, a Filipino woman and she... <laughs> Her first trip to the doctor here, he gave her suppositories, and she actually <laughs> ate one because she didn't know how to use oh. it. TMI, Cindy, TMI. Read, this is pretty, but it's just She couldn't read the stirring. directions, and she bit into oh, it. It's too like, funny. No, no, that's not where that goes. We laughed at her for so long over that. <laughs> this is kind of pretty, just sterling. Are you uh, oh, look. Oh, my look at this goodness. cute little hands. Is that cute? Another whole bag of jewelry here I missed. Oh, well, that's going to have to be oh, a surprise. No. <laughs> How cute is that? Two little hands. Like that one. Oh, one really? Little... Another whole bag Puffy of ones? jewelry here, Roberta. Well, you're going to have to show it. You can show it right now. No, this is a band, one of those wave bands. And this is an itty bitty 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 ring. I might have to keep that one. That's cute. Nice band. All right, so then there's just three bands. That is my haul right there. I just ordered another lot. I should have it Monday or Tuesday, perhaps. I'm wondering if this was the sterling from the first bag. I might have shown this one. I can't remember. I might have shown that already. Remember to ask. Oh, this ring is All so righty. Pretty. I'm really in love with that ring. I can't wait to show what it looks like when it's all cleaned up. I hope you all like that if you see anything that you have to have. Make sure you ask me tomorrow. Oh, there's so many beautiful things in here. I'm very, very tickled with my lot. I would have liked more gemstones because I know you all like them, but hopefully you'll like these rings. I'll be more That's specific. a great lot you got. I know. Now we'll put it all here to be cleaned tomorrow. Okay. You so, know this bug is um, adorable. How cute. I don't even like flies or whatever this is. I'm not yeah, I one have this one in there. A, something when it's my turn, I want to screenshot a type of turquoise that we are finding a lot of. It kind of um, looks like the spider web stuff, but it is Stormy Mountain turquoise. And I'll show you guys in a minute. 
Are you all done? You got more, right? Oh, yeah. yes, honey. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. go ahead. Show more. I'm putting it if away. I it, didn't want no, I, I don't have any more. I'm putting it away. Oh, okay. It's going to say if you got it, flunked it. All right. My turn no, then, no, I guess. I don't. So I'm going to screen share this with you here real quick. So this type of turquoise. Sort of looks like the spider web stuff. So mm -hmm. I was researching types of turquoise the other day and ran across this. Let me screenshot it. Let me get rid of all the stuff I don't want to screen share. So I don't have to figure out which tab it is. Okay, here it is. So there you go. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I guess it is Stormy Mountain Turquoise mined in Elko County, um, along with Blue Diamond Mine. But it is known for the um, hard, dark blue turquoise that includes a blotchy black matrix. And it also looks like it comes in sort of a blue-green like this. This looks like it's got some lava rock with it, but that's what these are. So, in case you were trying to figure out whether it was actually spider web or not, that's what it is. These are, this is from my lot, these are sterling hooks, and those look like lava rock on the bottom. Let me get a little closer here and a little closer to the screen. Cindy, I'll be right back. All right. These are cute, though. He's got nice long um, hooks on them, too. But I love this turquoise. So, actually, I got three rings. I lied. These are my favorite earrings from this lot. I love these. Where's the other one? Oh, please tell me. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, please tell me I didn't leave it in the kitchen. So I did clean all my stuff already. Aren't those gorgeous? That is real drizzy. I love these earrings. These are so awesome. Tell they're a little bit heavy. They're not seriously heavy, but they're a little bit on the heavy side. But there's the stone. You can see the stone from the back. But these are real drizzy. Isn't that beautiful, though? And it's wavy. It's not a flat drizzy. It's got a really cool wave pattern to it, almost like... Um, the waves you see on uh, stalactites or stalagmites in a cave. Almost that ribbon Those are cute. look. Yeah, these have that ribbon cool. look to them. I love these. I fell in love with these earrings. These are so cool. Very well made, too. Very nice earrings. Beautiful. That was my favorite thing from my lot. Here's a really beautiful piece of malachite, very highly polished. And it is set in the Vermeer setting. Is very this your nice lot? Polish on this. Yeah, this is my lot. Same from I same as yours. Yeah, this, this came from the same place that Rose did. And... I just had him surprise me. The only thing I said is I don't need change this week. And that's all I only instruction I gave him on mine. But this I is a to be surprise um, too. Yep, I wanted to be surprised, but I want but this has got a opening clamp on it so you can um, put it on beads. And let's see how this that. is signed. I see a 925, and that's all I see. But it's really beautiful set. The malachite is beautiful set in the gold. Really pretty piece of malachite, too. It's really highly polished. That's pretty. Oops, got a little bit of... 
I love this bracelet that says, and she lived happily ever after. That is so cool. And, and do you remember this? Now, this came from a completely different source as the last one. Last one came from our other silver source. This one came from this silver source. You remember I had one of these, Ro? This one's a little wider. Very pretty. I just had one of these, and I think Ed bought it. I don't think this one is as long. I think the other one was like a little, not quite as wide and like 22 inches or something. I think this one's not as long though. Let's see. Yeah, this one's 18. The other one was much longer, but this is a beautiful chain. You don't need anything else with this. No pendant, no. No, nothing. It's beautiful gorgeousness and this is why I didn't get such a big lot because I got a bunch of these heavy pieces but I'm happy with them this is sterling this is a lot of sterling here wow. there's your mark right there let's see oh no that's not a mark that's just where they soldered let me weigh this for you. This looks heavy. Feels heavy. Very pretty. This is, oh wow, this is like 59.2 grams, so two ounces mm. of sterling in this bracelet. Two oh, ounces. Orange. Wow. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I love these chains. Oh, my God, do I love these chains. Oh, that's cute. These are, like, so silky. They're, like, and this is an actual sterling one. It's the first time I found these in costume, but I've never found a sterling one like this. It's a... Yeah, um like slinkies. Yeah. It's made, it's blackened. And guess what? It's adjustable. Oh, I like that. Yeah, it's adjustable. So you can make it any length you want, which I love these things. Let's see how long this one is. These ears. 24 inches, so you can make it from 24 to however long you want it. But I just love these kind of chains. They're like so silky filling. I like to I like to touch them. <laughs> like Roberta on that one, I like to touch it. I like to pet them. Here's a Vermeil chain. This is a nice one with the gold balls rope chain in between and then the gold balls very pretty Got a little tarnish there that i didn't get off i have to clean that one a little better i missed some of the tarnish but with it being a this is fairly heavily plated so it'll probably take a little bit of cleaning but i always try to be careful cleaning vermeil um does have a tag. Let's see what the tag says. It says Bolivia. Bolivia. Huh. I've gotten jewelry from Bolivia before. That's a new one. And it has a maker's mark. This one is 10K over 925. Wow. It's actually marked 10K over 925, so it's a nice heavy coating, and it does have the maker's mark. It's the Sorry. heart with the OR, and I know you guys have told me before who that is, but I don't remember. Obviously, somebody in Bolivia. Here's some earrings. These are cute. I have a ring that will go nicely with these, I believe. If I still have it, I might have sold it. Nope, here it is. 
So I think this ring will go pretty nicely with these earrings, huh? That's cute. Not exact, but I'd I think wear it. They with the yeah, work with the ring. One one's on your head, one's on your finger. Nobody's gonna notice. I like it together. These were solid black. They cleaned up pretty well. I even managed to get the back clean on this. Oh, this ring is so pretty. Let's see. What else do I have here? Yeah, I got a lot of larger pieces. This is pretty. All sterling. Um... Top to bottom. That peeps like larger, too. Oh my gosh, we yes, see this one. Right Only thing is, you pay more for the larger pieces, much more. Well, we need to have both to offer. Right. It's got some really pretty bees. Look at these bees. Aren't they gorgeous? That is a beauty. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And then it just has the um, little sterling balls on it, too. That is a pretty piece, though. Gorgeous. And wear it alone or stack it. Little brooch. I was trying to test that down in there last night. That's what I was making all that noise with the beeper trying to test this. And I never did was able to test it. I'll have to do it later to see if that's a diamond because I think that's a diamond down in there. Only thing is, is this looks like it was once Vermeil, but a lot of the, or not really Vermeil, just had a gold watch over it because the back looks gold, but the front looks silver. So I am going to go ahead and hit it with the polisher and get rid of the rest of the gold watch. But it has an antiqued, intentionally blackened look to it, though. But cute little brooch. I'm sorry if y'all want this tarnish on it. If you're buying it from me, it just can't be. <laughs> you can let it tarnish after you can boil an egg and put it in the bag. <laughs> I did lose my dolphin in the kitchen. It's somewhere on my kitchen floor. It went flying when I was hitting it with the polisher <laughs> and I never found it so it's somewhere in my kitchen some pearl sure earrings eat it. <laughs> nah they're pretty picky about what they eat <laughs> very looks picky. like dolphin <laughs> here's some blue pearls dark like a midnight blue those are pretty good sized pearls. Here's another pair of pearls. It's a pretty pair to give just, away here. Just when somebody buys something for me, I want it to look like it came from the store. What they do with it after is their business. I just want it to be pretty when they get right. it. Right. Well, it's going to retarnish you know, <laughs> pretty quick, usually. Actually, I lied. I got four rings, not two. I just realized I have four rings. Okay. I and think you lied on purpose. Pair of pearl earrings. These are nice. I like these. He's got um, the older style kidney hook, sort of, that's attached. These are nice, though. I like these. Those are pretty. And I got a little Celtic knotted pendant. Andrea, are you still in here? I did hit some of my things with the polisher. See how shiny? Mm -hmm. I'd be scared I'd rip a finger off. <laughs> and I think I showed these last night. They brought these out last night, but they didn't sell. These are garnet cabochons. They are screwbacks. Mm. And these have a gold wash over them, but I think I'm going to hit these with the polisher too because the tips of a couple of these 
uh, uh, that one right there has a little bit of wear on the gold wash. So I think I'm going to just take all of the gold off and make them silver. But they are pretty. Right, yeah. Watch me end up staying up all night <laughs> cleaning this jewelry. This was from last week's lot, but it was completely black. So I cleaned it and I thought it came out so pretty. And I wanted to test that too to see if it's a diamond because it, it could be a diamond. That's adorable. So Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. No, nope, not a diamond, but you know, the dolphin really has the same um, wreath of flowers around it. So, very similar to that. Here's my little things. Here's a little angel charm, which is probably going to go on that little charm holder I got. I did clean that too, but it is in another tray that, um, or the, who was it? The duck, the Disney duck pendant or charm holder. That I cleaned too. That was black. But I did clean that. Now, this did have a gold wash on it, and I took it off because it had some gold wear. So I took off the gold wash, but a cute little pendant. Showing you all my little tiny ones first. Little onyx pendant. This one's actually gold, too, but this one doesn't have any wear. This one's in good condition. It's a vermeil. It's a little heavier plated than the other gold wash pieces. So are these. We still have 40 still people in here. This is last night from this lot, too. I forgot about that. And these are vermeil. And I think I actually have a pair of these in Sterling. I didn't sell them already. Might have already sold them, but I had the exact same pair in Sterling. Silver and over May. I did too. Look how thick these hooks are. Nice, heavy hooks. And another heart pendant. These look like there's a possibility these could be diamonds, too. Let me test one of these. Yes, these are diamonds. Awesome. All around this heart. These are diamonds, and it's not an illusion. It has diamonds all the way around on both sides. Very nice indeed. Yeah. And I'm looking to see. It's got the letters DB and 925. Yeah, this is a nice little heart. Oh, yeah. I could have looked at these until they were diamonds. I'm just looking to make sure they're not missing any because they're a little bit cloudy. And they're a little bigger than chips. But not much. <clears throat> Alrighty. Oh, these are cool. These are screw backs. But they are really cool cameos. Mother of Pearl. Actually, I think they're abalone carved from abalone. Pretty. Yeah, it does cute. I can't remember what these are signed. C or C Sterling. So these are vintage and they're signed C or C. 
I'm going to have to look that one up again. I don't remember what the CRC stands for, but I know I've had it before. This I'm going to give to my sister because this is what she always says every time you talk to her or you get any card or anything. It's always signed, love you to the moon and back. Mm -hmm. So that's going to my sister, and it's cute. It's got a... Um, the silver, then the vermeil heart, and then a little copper moon, like a little charm. It's cute. I will Which send Sissy? It to her. Sue, Melody. I'll send oh, it to her for her charm Sue. bracelet. <clears throat> oh, here's the Tweety Bird that I'm gonna put. I'm gonna yeah, put that's cute. arms on this. I cleaned it up. It was black, black. It was really hard to clean, and I couldn't get it perfectly. Very hard to clean. Cute little charm holder, though. These earrings. I think I had these last. I got these last week, but I never got a chance to clean them and test them. Betting these are probably pretty. Let me check and see if these are tunneling. Yep, these are tunneling. Cool. Really cute. Those are pretty. They are. I like these little studs. Let me see how these are marked. Nine two five. So I like those. I'm sorry, this I'm sitting here polishing and I should be watching this the chat. Cute. Isn't that cute? That is. Yeah, I think this is the chain that came on it. It because it you can't get the chain off chain does not come off so I think it's the original chain but isn't that cute really like that that is cute the kitty wants in again hold on let's see what these stones are on here come on be a good girl darn it hit in the middle I want to see if these are CZs or something else. Yep, they're CZs. Cute though, I really like this horseshoe. It does have a something on it, I see. Nope, just 925 in China. I know, that Tweety. Tweety is what's going to sell that. A little Tweety. Thought I saw a pretty cat. Better put those in the bag too before I lose them. Here's a little turquoise pendant. Cute. Yeah, it's a cute pendant. You got a lot of nice stuff. I do get some cute things, yes. All right, rings. This one, I think I showed you this one. It's got the um, abalone oh, yeah, on one. I like that. Pearl on the other, the flip ring. I like that. Yeah, that's a cute one. I like that one. And yeah, this is the Sajin pendant. Hold on, Elizabeth said, Cindy, can you show the cameo earrings again? Please. I sure can. Oh, that's a pretty sage. Isn't it? I'm, uh, I'm slower on my, I'm buffering on, not buffering. These have the I'm CRC on my mark, laptop. Elizabeth. Cool cameos, though. Anyways, that's the Sajun, and it is legit Ruzi. 
Here's the back of the druzy. It's a large size druzy, but it's legit druzy. And it is a Sajun. If I can cool. get you focus Better on the that There you go. Yep. There is the other Sajin identifying mark. Isn't that cool? It is indeed. Now I'll have look, to look up it worthy. Up. Okay, let's see, another ring. I love this one. I did polish this one up a bit. You know I love the style of ring anyway, but I love this one. It's just so small. I want one to fit my ring finger, huh? What? Does it say Lois Hill? This Does it ring? say Lois Hill? I don't know. Let me look. I haven't looked yet. You better find out. It says Thailand ATI. Okay. No lowest hill, but it is very cool. I love this ring. And I made it all shiny, too. I polished it. This one's kind of cool, too. It's a pretty one. What size is it? The um, Mazina wants to know. This is a not very big. It's a five and three quarters. This one's cool. Mazina, are you one of our girls that needs a cheeseburger? <laughs> <laughs> Do you wear a small size? This one has a fancy band. Very similar to the um, take offense to that. 1928 design, what is it? I mean it in all love. That is a pretty one. Actually, She's the one that needs a cheeseburger. Almost a seven <laughs> on that one. That's a cool one. Now that's almost a seven, so that's not too bad. And the stone has a nice. You can polish. tell I'm a grandmother. I'm always trying to put meat on people's bones. Manja, and this, manja. I am going to test because this, I think, it might be diamonds also. Going to test these and see if these are diamonds. Okay, let me look That's at it with a little loop. Yeah, these are looking a lot like diamonds with the loop, but they're so small. I don't know if I can get it in there without looking through the loop to touch the stone. Pretty sure these are slightly cloudy. I'm pretty sure these are diamonds. Let me get a little. Got it. When I look up to look at the meter, I move it. I have one puppy that goes crazy when I make the meter noise yes these are diamonds so all of these right. are diamonds all of that and every one of these are diamonds nice awesome they're tiny diamonds for sure but they are diamonds bling bling, bling, bling yep Really nicely done little piece. <laughs> and it actually has a maker's mark. I still okay. got you beat though, Marzina. I'll be 68 in November. I'm getting on up there. Gonna have to I don't feel that. it. Raising Samantha keeps me young. It has a F like this and then it's connected to an A like that and it's inside an oval so that one does have a mark on it too nice piece though alrighty almost done here lots of big pieces I'm chasing in down jewelry 
This is nice. This Chasing is, down jewelry keeps you young. This is in Mexico. Oh, I, like I like this design, yes. Indeed. Oh, very nice design. Nice, nice bracelet. You should run the buffer over the front of that. Yeah, I did a little bit, but it needs more. I love this piece. This is a vintage piece mm -hmm. for sure. It is calla lilies. Isn't that gorgeous? Indeed. Calla lily bracelet. Very cool. And oh, let's see. This one has actually got a cartouche. Let's see what it says. Sterling patent pending, and it's sterling again. There, each one of these has got a sterling mark in it. Cool, and this has a hook. This is this is definitely an older bracelet, it hooks closed like that. I think in the 50s, yeah, I'm at thinking least. at least at least mid-century and the design is pretty common for that period of time too 40s 50s so the patent pending yeah, it could I even be 40s nice beautiful i do like that one. okay this is reed and barton 1973 Christmas cross kind of cool to go on somebody's tree this year well it's got a bail so it can go on your neck or your tree I think it's meant to maybe I hang on your tree and then on your neck but it is set up as a pendant Mm -hmm. Very nice, though. I have a partridge and a pear tree, and it is a pendant, this is, but this is big. It can go on a tree. This is very big. Stephen, I thought you were sleeping. Oh, you Three must be listening, two. right, Stephen? You busy? <laughs> Three you by better be busy. And a half from the bell, so very very large cross okay this is my last piece from my lot i had to save this for last because i do believe this is something special this ring is so well done this one i'm going to have to do some research on not even sure if it's Does it say israel it sure looks like an israel piece doesn't it Mm -hmm. Really remind it's got an H B it looks like. May even be a backwards B. I think it's an H and a backwards B. But I really think this is something special. Look at the Tiny. color of the stone. <laughs> That's what I think. If this is a legit stone, let's check it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is actually going all the way up to Spinel. Well, now I'm jelly. This is my second favorite piece besides these from the lot. So this is a beautiful ring now. And look how well made this thing is. When I first picked it up, beautiful. I thought it was um, that that other really large topaz I have. I thought it was the same maker. It really is very reminiscent of that. But, yeah, really nice. And this is Ooh. a seven and a half, so it's a decent size, too. It's not a dinky ring. That's always my luck. I find a really nice, nice high-end piece like this, and it's tiny, tiny, but this is a good size, seven and a half. So that's that. Now I'm going to show my things I have for my native option real quick and then we're done. <clears throat> that won't be for a few weeks yet. Stephen, it's only in the physical. 
I'm going to have <clears throat> mostly Native American, but there will be some Mexico Native pieces. And two. Good Lord. Can't <clears throat> angels around you and just. So I thought I had to put it out for the sale. But apparently, I did not clean it very well. But this is the bench beads. This is a Mexico Native piece. This is like three and a half ounces on this piece. It's huge. So that will be in that auction. This is Mexico Native Indian. Beautiful. I ain't scared of no and ghost. I have, this is the one that, these are the Navajo pearls. This one is the one that I'm keeping. But I will be putting this one in. This is another Mexico Native Indian. Um bench beads or like the Navajo pearls, just a smaller. And these are really heavy too. Gorgeous. These are solid. So that will go into my native auction. Those are still wet. They're still the the liquid is still coming out of those. And this one, Elizabeth. I, well, I'm just going to have to call for you that night. Because I have item. maybe one native item. This is the Mexico native. This one is also over three ounces on this. I bet it's a, jewelry. I bet it's a beautiful piece of jewelry, though. Yeah, this is Mexico Stevens. native, too. So those are mostly oh, the next Cindy, I remember that. Those that are going in are those. Okay, so now you're going to get to see good. I'm busy stuff. visiting. <laughs> I'm visiting and not taking. Yeah, okay, I do have a Cindy. couple of boxes. She's going to okay, fire this me. Is stuff, <laughs> this is stuff from Elizabeth. I forgot I had this that I got from Elizabeth. Uh -oh. Oh, I love this, Elizabeth. And native inspired beading on this. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Mm, it is indeed. Yeah, yeah. That came from Elizabeth. That is even nicer in person, Elizabeth. This might also be a box from Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. I was about to show this one. Vanessa was still up. Vanessa's going to love this. She might get up to have a snack. <laughs> <laughs> you know us. Get up to pee and have a snack. <laughs> Check out the internet. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's a shell. Hey, that is beautiful. It is. That I think That's I got great. from Elizabeth also. She said she's glad you like it, Sin. I love it. All right, now maybe this box has have I gotten to the oh yes. Okay, so here's some of the native stuff now. Why well, I really got this dirty. <laughs> and I cleaned the jewelry. She said yes, you did get that from her. And this one, I will have all the names of these. Um, this one signed Sterling and SE. I'll have all the makers on all of these pieces. Beautiful turquoise Native American piece. That will be in my auction. Another Native American piece. Also will be in the auction. These are nice big stones. This one is sterling and the letter Y. Beautiful. And I will have names on all of these by the time that auction comes up. Okay, y'all may remember this. This is going in. I just need to get a battery put in it. This is sterling. Martina asking a couple back, uh, is it Sleepy Beauty? On the turquoise on, back there? On, I believe, yeah, the one I just showed you, yes. this I believe this is Sleeping Beauty, yes. Gorgeous. And what do I do with my 
Okay, so I'm going to have two watches. The other one is running, and this one just needs a battery, and I'll put a battery in it. And this is Embassy. The watch itself, and then it has the band is signed. Sterling, and let's see if it has an initial. And the letter J. Sterling and the letter J. So I will find out who that is. This one is... can't remember the name of this company, but I have it written down. Oh, with the sunshine, the half, you know, the sun coming yep. up kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this beautiful inlay. It's opal. Look at that. I was going to say, what is that? Look at the, look, look at, at the S for sandwich. Isn't S that beautiful? And then it's got Coca Pellies. And this one is cool. running. I need to pull the. Isn't that a stunning watch, though? This lot. Yeah, yeah. This one, and this is brand new. This is still got the. And this watch sells for about four fifty to five hundred on this watch. Thanks. Mm-hmm. So there's two watches, two bracelets so far. I well, all you're doing is saving up on the sterling. Let me on on the native. Let me tell you. I know, and you're teasing us now because yes, you're not I am. selling it. It's going to be a couple of weeks. You're not selling before. it this weekend. I just want to get everybody to see it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? No, no, Elizabeth. You're just teasing us. I'm yeah, going to have like, all like of that. this stuff will be up for auction in a couple of weeks. But if I held on to it for two weeks and didn't show it, you any of it, you'd be upset with me too. So, <laughs> Yeah, she's been bragging all day. Such an awesome ring. And the sizes on these are good too. This is an eight and a quarter. On the cacti. Like the cacti. I like it. I licked it. And I think. I'm not sure what this is. It's glowing though. I'm not sure what this stone is. I'm going to have to find it out from. It's pretty. Gianna, yeah, it almost looks like a boulder opal or something. I don't know. That could be a boulder opal. I'm going to have to find out, but isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful like piece. That. Yeah, gorgeous. That's a keeper scent. That's a big one. Oh, and this will be coming up to the white buffalo in that auction. The white buffalo will be. I'll be calling this auction, everybody. <laughs> I won't be selling. <laughs> yeah, you will be. Uh, not that kind of stuff. I don't have any uh, beauties like that. Oh, that's my favorite. Isn't that reminds me of one G had. Mm -hmm. Unless I, you know, all of a sudden become rich and start well, buying this is not native, so. but I got this from uh, one of the same places. This is the matching ring for that Pandora bracelet. Did I ever show you guys the rose um, Pandora? I saw it, but I don't know if the gals and guys I did. I showed that or not. I'm going to have to figure out where I put that. But this is the matching ring that goes with that. Um, it's rose gold over sterling that goes with the pandora which is the brand new pandora ring and let's keep going now this one does not have a stone in it but this is awesome still nonetheless it's a pretty design very pretty design 
Dang, my nails are driving me crazy. How many did I break? One, two, three, four so far. Salon so tomorrow or divorce? Heather Point Ratio. Is out of the way. Check out this kind of point ring. Very cool. This is Mexico native on this one. On the um, one that had the multiple things in it, was it spiny oyster? Um, making noise. The, yeah, there's some spiny oyster, some turquoise, some gaspiite. A little bit of everything in there. Yeah, gorgeous is what it is. Okay, there's plenty more. Let me let me do some of the older stuff first. Okay, so these I'm gonna have to test these. I don't think these are sterling, but these are really cool. These might be beautiful. These might be pewter, but they're buttons. I don't know if they're sterling or not. I'll have to check them, but they're old. And they're I've, old. I've had those for a really long time myself. Okay. I'm thinking they're not sterling. Just my opinion. Yeah, I think they might be pewter. I haven't tested them. Okay, but I so. Coca Pele. Check this out. Turquoise on oh, this I love side. Him. Opal on that side. I love him. I love him too. And it. I need to put it on the chain, but I love these I got two colors. Gianna, this came from Gianna a long time ago. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Okay, this I've had virtually since I started doing this, and I have never wanted to let it go, but I think I will finally let it go. Okay, this is a. She thinks this is soapstone, but I don't know for sure. And these are onyx beads and bone, big chunks of amber. It's a fetish necklace. These discs are glass. Then it's got a bunch of brass beads also and more chunks of amber. But I love this. I've had this forever. And I just couldn't bring myself to give it up so i think i'm finally going to now though but this is a native made piece i did verify this with gianna these are all native made handmade brass beads also gorgeous and it's a fetish rabbit that's cute yeah i've had that one for quite a while then of course we gotta have a fetish necklace so this one is going in I, really I am going to have a couple of pieces that will just um, that are southwest that are not necessarily native but are southwest. That's it. I love this one. Got a turquoise buffalo and some abalone. A little bit of everything on there. Looks like alabaster. That's cute. Yeah, that is. And I'm still collecting more pieces, but this, um, I'm hoping to have enough to do an entire auction. So I'm still looking for more pieces, but this is what I have collected so far. I still have more. Where is that bag with the rest of the, up oh, here. Thunderboard. 
this needs another bail. I do not like the bail on this. That's cool. Isn't that cool? I like that. Oh, I am so You're happy ready. with those. Some more bracelets. Ooh, I like that one. Maybe two. This one I think I got from Chiana. Nice stone in it, though. Clip Capelli. This one's wearing shoes. Moccasins. Okay, I think I've shown these, but I cleaned them up since I showed them. These are really nice ones. Look how thick and well done these are. And I think, let me see if these are old pawn or not. Nope, these are Mark Sterling. These are really well done. Um, you find these that are not native made, but these uh, are native made and you can tell the difference in the quality. Look how thick these are. There's a lot of sterling there. Pretty, pretty. So two of those. Of course, you got to have a pair of these shadow box bear paws. <laughs> So got a pair of those. I don't like those. Mm -hmm. You don't? Are you? I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you said you don't like those. It's going to say, okay. I have, no, I have those, and I have a bracelet uh, listed. Little, um, I think I got this from Cindy, just a little. Little ring on that one. This, I think, might be number eight turquoise. And this, I think, is old pawn. Isn't that cool? I know. Uh, that is very pretty. I like the, um, the way they did the, the shoulder on that. Beautiful piece of turquoise, though. Gorgeous. That'll be a fun night, Stephen, when we have Stephen on for his auction. Mm -hmm. July. Yep, that's coming up before too long. We can tease the snot out of him. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. This is red coral. Isn't that awesome? Don't remember what this one's signed, but I'll go over all of that at the night of the auction. But beautiful. Get ready for a ribbon. <laughs> Red coral. This is a beefy, beefy ring, too. That used to belong to me, on Seth. That one. Lot of meat. That on used that. to belong to me. That was Why, mine at one sure time. Sure did. That was uh, when we went to. Many moons ago. We went to your guy many moons ago. Many moons ago. Well, hopefully he'll guy. get back into. Uh, hopefully he will perk back up okay, and get this, some more nice stuff. This is actually native made too. Little tiny pendant sound VJ. It's just a little pendant. I might have gotten this from Cindy Lovin, but a beautiful piece of turquoise in there. Very pale green turquoise. That's probably the smallest piece I will have. And Um, Laramar. So my tester. My tester is just about not to need me to I think I need calibrate to get more it every earrings. time. This is the only pair of earrings that I have. I just realized I need to get more earrings. All right, here's a couple of little small rings. 
These are all smaller turquoise rings. I said number eight was closed in the 70s? Yes, number eight is very rare, and it's an expensive one if you can find it. This might be, oh, it's marked. I can't do another piece of jewelry tonight. I've cleaned all I'm cleaning. I'm afraid the uh, Napier may have to be buffed off. Piece. Oops, we lost row. There she is. <laughs> you popped out for a second. Oh, I did. I was just telling you, I probably have to send this uh, Napier to you to buff out for me. All righty, you got it. This is, is it gold, Brebe? Mm -hmm. This is an old, unmarked old pawn piece here. I love this one. I like that. Yep, me too. I think that one's longer than my, yeah, it is longer than my white buffalo. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay, almost done. I got a few more here, and then we'll get off. Not without a um, giveaway. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay, everybody. A couple more rings and boxes here. Let me find those right here. And oh, more, more bracelets. Lord, I had more than I thought I did. Everybody's sticking with us all this time. We'll have to do a giveaway. Ton of jewelry tonight for sure. How many hours we've been in here? Okay, so almost done. Put that back in there. All right, brought all my boxes up here so I can get the rest of it out of the way. Okay, here is a Southwest piece that's going in. I said I would have a couple Southwest. This is one of this is a Southwest piece. That looks familiar too, then. Well, it should, Roberta. <laughs> <laughs> I think you give me your stuff, I give you my stuff. This goes <laughs> back and forth. It does go back and forth. Okay, I think actually this is not part of this. This was another piece from, um, who did I get this from? This was from Elizabeth. But this is a Hobe piece, so I have to show this. Isn't that gorgeous? This was purchased from Elizabeth. Mm-hmm. And it is a hobe, so you may see that again sometime, Stephen. And sorry you missed it, and I got to it before you did. <laughs> and she's going, na 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 na. Don't you think she's not? No, I, I'm not. Roberta is, but I'm not. <laughs> That's my favorite line. Okay, so. Na, 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 na. Couple more Those rings. I really don't know what this stone is either. I'm going to have to find out. But isn't this gorgeous? It is pretty. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, uh, and I just spent some big time money on a bracelet. <laughs> Probably the most I've ever spent on one piece. But. Well, you know we got to see it. bracelet could potentially be worth thousands another ring isn't that nice i love that one hey, that isabel one hi my sweet another oh, i've been thinking about isabel. you another shadow box style that's cute ring right love there shadow box rings they go turquoise You've been on my mind for days, Isabel. These two, like, bought from well. Diana, this one and the shadow box, the uh, um, coral shadow box. Those came from Gianna. Okay. 
And I'm saving my favorite ring for last. Isn't that cool? Oh, I love that. Isn't that awesome? I really, really love that. Yes, I do. And this one is a um, Chimney Butte. And mm -hmm. some Chimney Butte stuff, their older stuff, can be worth quite a bit. And their stuff is always very heavy sterling. So Chimney Butte, even though it is not native made, is, um, is sought after. It, um, the natives buy it. They love it. And it is very respected by the natives, Chimney Butte. But it is a non-native um, co-op, and but it is native designs, and the oops, sorry, and the natives love it. Now I think also, if I've been looking at native crosses, I think this ring may also be a native piece, but I'm not 100% certain. Nope, this is Mexico native. So this is going into the auction too. It's a Mexico native piece. So that will go into. But isn't that, look at that turquoise. Though. I do isn't love that. that I do love that. You do too. This well, is a bigger size. This is a very beefy ring. Um, almost an eight and a half on that one. So good size on that one. Okay, Isabel, don't cry. I'll be praying for you, honey. Actually, I got to save that one for last because you won't want to look at anything else when I show you that one. Oh, I'm gonna slap you. Okay, so hard. then I've got some liquid silver. Needs a cleaning liquid silver necklace with combs. Just plain liquid silver, a little native made piece, and I've got a storyteller. Are you guys going to make me have yet? to go shopping? Is anybody drooling yet? I hope so. That was the point. No, you're going to make me go shopping is what you're going to make me do. <laughs> <laughs> Another shadow box. Now, this one will go fairly well with that ring. Not exactly, but the other ring. You know what happens when I do that? I have to, I have to find something better than what you have. <laughs> Dueling. Dueling. Well, you know what? I've, I've <laughs> spent a couple grand here, so have at it, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, man. I'll sell my firstborn. <laughs> this was not your typical lot, okay? Um, I've, I've put some money into this one for sure. I'll be selling my firstborn. wonder if he knows yet. <laughs> Another little native piece, a little... So it's something, a lot of it is high dollar, but some of it isn't. Some of it is reasonable. Um, so there's something for all price ranges. Okay, so I'm saved the best pieces for last. At least I think I've showed you everything. Look, these are the last three and my three favorite. Okay, I'll show you this one. <laughs> He's hiding. <laughs> He's hiding, Marzell. That's beautiful. See, I already saw the pictures. My shock no, and awe is already not over. Not quite the same. <laughs> now, this is a new one. Not quite the same as in person, though, is it? No. Well, it's still not person. It's not on my arm. <laughs> so, I love that one, though. Yeah, I do like this one, but wait till you see the next one, okay? Wait till you see it. Okay, so that one is um, J.P. Erskine, and this one lists for about 150 to 200 on this one. Okay, this one. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Very nice. There's your native mark right there. So pretty. I haven't researched a lot of this. Some of it I have, but as a lot of it, I still have to research. So isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> Polly, you're pitiful. 
But I love you. You're <laughs> needs a wife. That's too oh. funny. Gonna stud your son, huh? Gorgeous, though. Okay, so this is the last one for the night, but it is my favorite piece. Oh, yeah. Check out this ring. Mm -hmm. You know, if this fit me, I would not be selling it, but it's too small. I was just saying, it's a keeper. I probably could have it sized, but isn't that gorgeous, though? Mm -hmm. No, it's you just perfect. want to be on a, on a mission to find another one that's larger. Yeah, this is um, six and three quarters. I know this will shock you all, but I would leave that tarnish on that one. I love nugget rings. I love when they do the raw, just the um, branch coral and nuggets together. What size is it? It's a six and three quarters. Fits my ring finger. You probably. But that's that's an index finger. Well, actually, you could stretch it up to a seven. That's on there tight, but you could stretch it up to a seven. Well. So, what do you think? You think you saw something in there you might like, guys? <laughs> I hope. Start saving <laughs> up I now. Hope, because <laughs> I have been, I have been big burling and stealing to get native pieces. I swear. To get some legit stuff enough to have an auction and I still need a few more so I want to do a complete auction with nothing but um, this kind of stuff with mostly native a little bit of Mexico native and a few southwest pieces in there so there's something for everybody definitely no competition sin However, but are you well, ready I suppose I should get busy you ready to do a giveaway? Yes, I am. What should we go to? What numbers so I can put mine under my hat? Um, how many we have in? 32. 32. Just under 100 as we usually do. And I need to Alrighty. find a giveaway. Show. Sure. I'm going to give away this Onyx Pendant. I am going to give away these cute little earrings. That's probably um this onyx pendant. And let me get a halite. Halite. I don't know because I'm not a halitologist, but it is sterling. <laughs> so that is my chain for the giveaway. The sterling chain with it. Oh, I've been polishing these up, and look at how beautiful they are. It's a shame that's only glass. It, it's purple. So do you and have your number ready, pink. Rose? I do, honey. I okay, so number. go I'm ahead. Put your numbers in, guys. Under my little hat. Good Lord, I can't believe how dirty my thing got just from showing Joe rated. Especially after I cleaned it. Hi, Diane. I didn't see you in here. Hey, Diane. Nice to see you. Hey, Miss but is Peyton. it the cutest little bug? What did I do with my little bug? I cleaned my little bug up, too. So wait till you see the bracelet that I have coming. Let me show you a picture. I don't okay. have any this one's the one that could be worth thousands. I won't know until I get it and determine the age of it. But let me show you this. I did polish all these up, and they look so awesome. This is quartz. Okay, this is the piece that I'm talking about. I spent more on this piece than I have spent on any jewelry since I started this on just this one piece. But I cannot no, die. Get what my number is. Let me find it. There it is. Okay. Can't wait for this How one. How beautiful oh, this yeah. one! This is a honker. Oh, gorgeous! Look at the size of that thing. There you go. There.
Very beautiful. Yep, can't wait for that to come in. <laughs> That's a pretty one. My goodness. All righty, everybody. Go. Hi, Denise. Hi, Caroline and Diane and Kelly and Kathy and Olga and Paula. You know where I thought. You know where I thought these were missing. Joyce. They're not. They're not missing. The Lorenza. They just need to be cleaned. It needed to be cleaned. There are a couple stones in there. And the rest they are, I haven't illusion. gotten anything yet from him that was missing a stone. He usually checks so it. Well, I got two that are missing marcasites, but I can, I can, I, I replace marcasites all the time. So, hey, Miss Kristen, did I miss saying hi to anybody? I hope not, Stephen. Elizabeth, hello, my darling. Thank you all for sticking Gorgeous with us tonight. Help. Yes, thank you so much. So, uh, I got a. I still got an invoice tonight. Oh, fun. I'm done. Uh -huh. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to package everything up tomorrow, though. But like I said, I'm not sending it out till after our auction on tomorrow night so that I can um, put all the shipping together. I don't have to charge you more shipping. I'm sure you don't mind that. Cindy, see the, see this leave? See all these little yeah. dark spots in it? I heard somebody talk about that uh, gold leaf, but yeah. I don't know if you could do that to this. I don't know. I don't the know. back looks awesome. Yes, you could but try it is, on the back to see if it works. There's not anything wrong with the back, but the front is more like a, a flat finish. So I'd have to do the entire front. I don't know if it would be worth it. It's a beautiful, beautiful. Well, I, I did rub and rub. Matters actually. It's a nice piece either way. Rub and rub. Never had a trafari. All right, um, guys. So check your. Um, did we go through the rules on the auction? Does everybody have their numbers in? I'm not seeing a whole lot of numbers. Um, Thirty of us in here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's some before I put it in, but not a lot. Okay, so rules are um, no purchase necessary. We're not sponsored by YouTube. And you do not have to sub and all those good things. Even though we appreciate it, if you do sub, you don't have to sub to play. And um, I think that's it. We go closest you to you. You have to like us. Hi. <laughs> I'm kidding. If there's a tie, we go closest to without going over. And please check and make sure you don't have a duplicate number. Oh, that's what it's called, Steve? Rubbing Rub buff. I'm going out to get it. Oh, I can get it online. I learn new things every day. Does it work on Vermeil jewelry <laughs> where there's a little bit of silver showing through? I mean, legit work, or is it a temporary thing? Can you see the little spots I right think there? I'm just going to get some of the gold dip. It's a little expensive, but I think I'm going to get it. I'm going to try the rub. I'm going to try the rub. What the heck? This is a nice, heavy brooch. It is a nice brooch, yes. And it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All right. That's the Napier, right? Is that the Napier? No, this is a Trif What is Trif this, Trifari? Let me see. Napier. I'm sorry. It is Napier. Napier Sterling. Never seen any. Never had one of these before. Yes, he used it on his MMA brooch and sold it. His customer was happy. Okay, so I'll let you try it first, Ro. <laughs> I'm so glad <laughs> you sold I'm that. You the guinea pig. All right, guys, let's do it. You want to go first, Ro? Go ahead. All righty. It's for the sterling and They're probably put up all the jewelry now. But they're cute. And my number is you da -da -da. Just. 27. No, I didn't. I'm not going to scratch oh, these. I think I've heard them. 
I think do they, they have halite. those weird brown lines in them? Because if they don't, no, those aren't halite. Halite has that weird brown lines. Those might be magnesite, but they're not halite. You might want to test those. Those might actually be turquoise. Whoever gets them, test These them. These are the gift. They're the gift. Because those might whatever they are. Be. Do your scratch whatever test. Whatever they see. are, they are yours now. Now, it may not have come from Nevada. could have come from China or one of those other countries that has turquoise, but it could be turquoise. All right, let's see. Joyce has 32. Um, Design and Undoovers has 29. Melody has 28. Um, I'm thinking 28 is the closest. Now, 25 is two away. 28 is only one away. So 28, who had 28? Don't know. Oh, Melody, Man. my sissy one knows. Do the scratch test, Mel. sissy, when you get them. I didn't even know you were still in here, Mel. Yeah, um, we only go closest to without going over when it's a tie. And 28 is one away, 25 is two away. So we're going with the 28. And let you me got do it. A random pick on mine. Congratulations, <clears throat> my dear. That will go out with the rest of the stuff on Monday. Tuesday latest. Sue, did you ever get your green opals from um, Sandy? Hey, Google, give me a random number between 1 and 100. Forty-two. Forty-two. She was going to set those or something, right? Make earrings for you? Let's see. We got 41 to Paula. So unless somebody has 42, Paula wins it. Congratulations. Congrats, Paula. You win. Going in a bag. Bag it. Bag and tag it. Bag it. Thank you, so, everybody. Stephen, you were not in when I showed you this um, crown trafaris earlier, and I don't remember what the other one was, but check this out. Beautiful crown trafari. This is from Deb. This will be in Debbie's auction on Sunday. Isn't that gorgeous? Indeed. Beautiful crown trafari. I hear you like crown trafari. And this is in yes. spectacular condition. I don't remember what this is. It looks like even the other one was. Oh, oh, wouldn't you know I didn't write that down? What did you call that rub and buff? Is it just called rub and buff uh, jewelry? Jewelry restorer or something? What's it called, Stephen? Yeah, I don't know what I did with the other one. I don't remember what the other one looked like, but I remember it being awesome also. Was in a plastic box. So there'll be two trafari brooches, oh. round trafaris, and I'll probably sell them together as a lot for Debbie's auction on Sunday. And you just rub it on. Just so we can sell more without being here forever and a day. That's cool to know because I have a lot of verme that needs to be touched up. Man, I have had my stuff all organized now after showing it. It is all disorganized. Wear gloves. This, these old paws. Nothing can hurt these paws. I'm raising a grandchild. <laughs> Let me switch back over here. Get this labeled so we can say goodnight. 
I need to go uh, get a drink so I can get my invoice. Thanks, Raven. Good. Got a lot to do tomorrow. Got to go get those nails done. And then I got to get do. reorganized <laughs> for our auction. At least I got stuff cleaned this time, though. Just got to put it all away. This was Paula, right? Yes. Right. This is Paula, my sweet little Paula, who tickles me to the bone. Thank you. Thank you, Paula, for playing. And thank you, everybody, for playing. Indeed. That does I'm sound easy. Tonight, I right? definitely am going to. Does it have a, um, the rub and buff, does it have a matte finish or is it a shiny finish or you just buff it however you want it? I'm not sure if Mike is going to call on Sunday or not, Elizabeth. Um, I'll find out. I probably am going to see, and I should have done that sooner. I might have um, Dwayne do it. I'm going to check with Dwayne and see if he's available and have Dwayne call on Sunday maybe. But we probably will need you on Saturday. Um if Mike's not going to be available Saturday. And oops, wrong, wrong move. It's not what I meant to do. This is what I meant to do. Say goodbye. All right, guys, it is hot in here. Whew. It's all that jewelry. There's various choices. So jewelry is. Different. Okay, so there's different finishes raven cool i know i tried the these pens everybody was trying these pens when I, on on costume pieces when i first started doing it but for metalware on but it, they don't work all that well it's a matte finish and you can really see it unless it's a matte brooch it just happens to be the right color of gold and I would have never put it on something I was going to sell. They just didn't work that well. They're gold leafing pants, 18 karat gold leafing pants, 18 karat my butt. I don't believe I it. I know. I'd hate, I'd hate to hurt this, but I wouldn't sell it like this now. So I'll we'll try it on I the back first to see what kind of a finish and how well it matches. This is flat and that's shiny. Yeah, but it do it on that or just I need it on, it on the back in an inconspicuous we'll place. Worst thing happens is I send it to you to buff off <laughs> with you. Send it to Stephen? No, you with your buffer. Oh, oh yeah. Do you mean just take all of the gold off? Mm-hmm. Well, I would try fixing it so it's original verse and if that doesn't work mm -hmm. then you just send it to me and i'll buff it off because it's beautiful all right my darling i must go rest I'm tired yeah tonight. The pens don't work with the darn steven thank you guys for coming and we will see you all tomorrow night don't forget sunday with miss deb um i think debbie's gonna come into the stream and thank everybody she wants to come in and say hello and let you guys know how much you mean to her and how um, important this is for her. And so she wants to come in and thank you. So she will come in on Sunday night for a short time. And um, she will be in the chat the rest of the night, but she'll be in the stream for a part of the night. So thank you guys so much. We will see you all tomorrow night. Say goodbye. Bro. Jesus is Lord. God loves you. Love one another. Thank, Thank you, you guys for, for staying, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up, and if you have not subbed, please sub. Thank you. Sorry we Be kept you so long, but thank no, you. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Good Love night, you guys. Love you. Blessings. Night.